like jet skis. I like getting money, making shorties come and neck me. I like drinking 40s with my motherfucking besties. Talking about he know me, boy, he know he never met me. More money, more problems, but that money got me right. Happened overnight, boy, got a name, made him wanna fight my style so nice. Who couldn't like me? The ones who ain't on my Bro, team. Seth, why do you give subs before stream, bro? Take it before the gifting. Shit. Different niggas, same style, and don't compare me to these rappers when they money counterfeit. Real Bro's early, I'm bro. Two minutes early. This I this might as well be a fucking miracle. But my bitch, that should let you niggas know that I ain't worried about shit, nigga. Remember life was simple with the little nine to five trying to strive Hello just so I could everybody flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fan fucking tastic Friday, bitch? It is a react day today. Yo, and to I'm early. Gonna Dup. I haven't been early in probably like three months. I'm only two minutes early, but you know, I'm gonna count that as a fucking win. Know about my dimes. Now I hear my music playing while I'm working. How many subs was that? How many subs was that? How many subs was that? 25? Nah, bro. It's Eli for the fucking 25 gifted subs. <gasps> Dub in the chat for that. Thank them if you got a sub it, bro. It's Eli in the crib giving subs like every damn stream, dude. Thank you for the 25 gifted. Please don't feel pressured that you need to give subs, though. Holy fuck. Bro's been given a shitload of subs. Eli, thank you for the 25 gifteds. I would assume your name's Eli since it's in your username. Outside of that, thank them if you got a sub. And thank you, bro, for the 25 gifteds. Nick for the sub. Uh, I do have a story that I need to tell that I promised I would tell before uh, I started stream uh, or start the reacts yesterday. Randy for the sub. Baconator for the sub. Manifest for the 300 bitties. What is your favorite chips? Bro, the habanero tortilla chips are so fire. But you know when you eat something nonstop that's your favorite and it no longer becomes your favorite? I've had that. I've had that uh, issue, right, with these chips. Uh, I don't know the brand. I think they're Tostino. Tost uh, Tostino? I don't know, dude. What, what company makes tortilla chips? It's Eli for the fucking gifteds again, dude. Holy shit. I don't know, but when you have something like... Say you have a favorite food. When you eat that food all the fucking time, it's just no longer good. So you need... It's not bad, right? But it's no longer like the oomph that it used to have when you would fucking eat that shit. So I have to, like, take a break from them, and then I'll probably come back and they'll be as good as they were. Nick for the sub, 707 for the thousand bitties. Wanted to say you always put a smile on my face. You always make my day and inspire me. Dub. Life's been really hard lately. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to distract myself and be strong. Any who just say thanks to for being awesome and making me feel smile. What a nice message. W707 Maya. Uh, Dumpy Red Ariana for the sub. Oil for the 5 to 10 bets. Driving to Florida right now, so I have something to listen to while I drive. Good. Uh, this will be like a three and a half hour stream, so uh, you'll have a, a bit to listen to. Anonymous for the sub. Kate and Rampage for the sub. Popcorn for the 3 bitties. Did you know lava lamps are real lava? No, they fuck they aren't. Uh, aren't lava lamps just chemicals? Melia for the sub pizza for the 510 uh, five, bits. Can't wait for my talent show performance tonight. Good luck. Uh, Hyena for the 300 bits. It's Eli for the 300 bits. Wanted to uh, say I'm happy a part of, be, to be a part of this community. Uh, dub. The raid yesterday was a dub? Yeah. No, that was the best raid I've ever had. That guy freaked the fuck out. If you weren't here yesterday, I raided this one guy. His username's Mr. Chan Chan. He's a dad. Bro, I raided him. He sung for like 10 minutes. He was just singing like my name for like 10 minutes. It was fucking hilarious. And he has a pre-recorded thing for when he goes to the bathroom. Oh my God. Coxo for the sub. He's a great streamer. Jack Jack for the five gift. It's Cotton for the sub and Etho for the three inch bets. If a time a traveler older version of you came up and said you're in danger and you need to survive to do some crazy life-changing shit like quitting all the internet, dropping out of college, would you do it? Uh, if they were the real me, yeah, but I feel like they would not be the real me. Follow-up question, what would be the craziest thing you would do to save yourself? What would be the craziest thing I would do to save my own life? I mean, if somebody was attacking me, probably kill someone. If they were, like, like if, if in a defensive state. Like, if somebody was trying to stab me, yeah, I would, I would defend my life. 
Like, is that the cra- what, what's more crazy than that? Dallas B for the fucking gifted subs! Dude, I don't even know how many that was. 50! Holy fucking shit, dude. Dallas B for the 50 gifteds. Oh my god, dude. Thank you for the 50 gifted subs. Holy shit! Cotton for the sub. We're already at the daily sub goal. We're already at the daily sub goal. I just started fucking stream. Dub in the chat. Thank you for the fucking gifted. So many gifted this stream, dude. Dallas B. Thank them if you got a sub and thank you, bro. Those are the most gifted I've ever gotten in the first fucking... Not most gifted I've ever gotten in the first five minutes. There was one guy that gave like 150 subs. Anyways. Bro, thank you for the fucking 50 gifted. That is a top 10 most gifted subs I've ever gotten in five, in five fucking minutes. Holy shit. Cotton, top five, probably. Cotton for the sub. Mikey for the 300 bitties. When you're home alone, do you close the door when you go to the bathroom? Yes. Unless I'm pissing. If I'm peeing, no. But if I'm taking a shit, I have to close the door. Right? When you're taking a poop, you got to be in your enclosed area. Right? No matter where I am. I, I, dude, there could be no one within 10 miles of me. I have to be in an enclosed area taking a shit. When's the Mr. Beast video coming out? Never. Uh, it's on backup. Uh, so probably never. Mikey for the 3 inch bitties. Uh, Manifest for the 3 inch bits. Tornado's coming my way, but I'd rather watch you. Popcorn for the 4 inch bits. Lava lamps are real. I drank one one time. Yeah, uh, I don't know how you're alive. And Dallas, thank you for the 50 gifted again, dude. Yeah, for the sub. And the boy talks in for the $50 dono. You inspire so many people here and such inspiration for young people. Duh. I wouldn't say I'm an inspiration to young people. I would say I might inspire people to be successful or like do things they want to do. But I would say I am not a an inspiration in the effect of being a role model. Uh, I don't know. I do appreciate that, though, when you guys say that. So, like, genuinely, if any of you do, like, look up to me or uh, I inspire you, I, I am very grateful for that. Uh, Sky Hunt for the sub, uh, Drift for the sub, Cluedo for the thousand biddies. Uh, do you like Ben 10? Haven't seen it in 10 years. Uh, DJ for the 300 bits. Not a TMI. I, I, when I shit, I be, I have to be at home. That's not uncommon. A lot of people are like that. I used to be like that. Brody for the 300 bits. Prince for the 300 bits. Do you like ramen? Yes. All right. On to the story, chat. Are y'all ready to the story for, uh, before we get into the fucking reacts? We got a bunch of reacts today, by the way. Starting off, we got the worst drunk driving liar. Men rank themselves by penile size. I don't think this is TOS because they're not showing anything bad. Ha Do y'all know any other streamers that have watched this video? This one's kind of the iffy one for the day. The viral Kanye clone theory. Seven levels of high. This is actually scary by Penguins. I think that talks about AI. How Mr. Beast uses charity to manipulate his fans. I'll probably disagree with this video, uh, but I haven't watched it yet. Stupid holidays and then zero to 100 in the US. If we have any extra time, we'll watch more, but... Uh, B, monkey for the sub, uh, cotton for the sub, we for the 300 bets. How do you feel when Chief Keef says he's gonna blow up New Jersey? Uh, I don't know, and I don't care. It's a song. Uh, Trippy for the 1500 biddies. First time, probably last time I'll donating, but I just wanna let you know you've helped me a lot. You're probably one of the few people to inspire me. Dub, uh, I appreciate that, dude. I've learned a lot from you. It's a corny message. It's not a corny message. I appreciate it. Etho for the 300 biddies. Lava Lamp Liquid it gave me the ability to tell the future. Okay. Uh, no, it didn't. Caleb for the three inch bits. Uh, second donor trying to become a regular chatter. Dub. All right. On to the fucking story. I got to stop getting distracted. Okay. Y'all ready? I got pulled over by a cop yesterday. Transitioning into a cop video today. Uh, I, I did not. Okay. Let me, let me, let me pan. I allegedly ran a stop sign. I did not run the stop sign. Let me tell you how it went down. Okay. Um, let me tell you how it went down. Right. I did not run the stop sign. I did not run a stop sign. Uh, let me tell the story, okay? You know how when you're at a stop sign, there's a white line that you're supposed to stop behind? Well, I was kind of going a little bit quick, right? I'm not going to cap. I was going a little fast, right? Didn't really want to slam on the brakes. St started, started, you know, easing onto the brake, right? A little, a little push, right? Started pressing on the brake. This was yesterday, by the way. Not today. Um, started pressing on the brake. This is when I was coming back from class. Stepping on the brakes slowly. I got a Chipotle burrito right next to me. I'm waiting to Mac that shit, right? So I kind of want to get home. Uh, but I'm going to full stop. I full stop. Um, but I stopped like maybe five feet over the line. It was one of those stop signs where it, like, you know how some stop signs are right next to the, the center of the intersection and some are pretty far back? It was one of the ones that was pretty far back, right? 
Like, I was five feet over the line, but I was still well out of the intersection, okay? As I'm stopping, I pull one of these. You know, checking right and left, as you normally would at a stop sign, a four-way stop. You check right and left. To my right, I see a cop car. Ooh, fuck. Right, as I'm stopping, by the way. I have not stopped yet. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping, right? And I'm like, ooh, that's a cop car. Fuck. I, and I know, I know the second I go over the line, this is not the first time I've been pulled over by a cop, by the way, but uh, I know the second I'm like stopping over the line, I'm like, this guy's gonna fucking pull me over. The second I go straight, lights on. Woo, woo. Oh, pull over, right? I pull over. I'm fuddling for my fucking registration, right? Because when they say license and registration, it's like they're asking me to fucking solve a calculus problem. It's like the most complicated thing that I've ever had to do in my entire life. I'm trying to find the, the fucking registration for the goddamn car. I'm freaking the fuck out, right? I'm like, oh my God, the cop's going to pull me over. I'm getting a ticket. I'm like, I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, there is no doubt I'm getting a ticket. I did not roll the stop sign, right? But technically, I ran it and stopped over the line, which is still ticket worthy. It's usually a warning, though. But I was like, he just saw me do it in front of him. He's going to give me a ticket. He comes up to the other side of the car. Very rare a cop does this, in my experience, right? Normally, the cop will go up right here, like right to the right your, to your side. He pulled up to the passenger side, right? He pulls up to the passenger side. I'm like, oh, God. This is even a worse sign because that means there are a cop that's in the Wrangler. Oh, yeah, I got pulled over in the Wrangler. I think the Wrangler saved me, though. You know, I and, and here and let me tell you why, all right? I think the Wrangler saved me from getting a ticket on this one and the fact that he knew who the fuck I was. Anyways, anyway, <laughs> anyways, he comes up. He comes up. He rolls. The, I roll down the window. He, like, knocks on the glass. I roll down the window. I'm like, I didn't say anything. He says, I'm officer blah, blah, blah from Blind Lake count, uh, uh, County Department. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, here's my license. He says license and registration. I hand it to him. I hand him I hand him a packet of info. And I'm like, I don't know where the registration is in here. It's in here. Okay. And he goes, Do you go to do you go to blank and blank gym? My gym, right? And I go, Yeah. He goes, I've talked to you. I don't remember him. I don't remember him. I don't remember him. I, he, and it, so I'm like sitting there with a blank stare on my face. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, yeah. And then he brings up one of my boys, right? He brings up uh, this guy named Brandon. And I'm like, a, who used to work at the gym. And so this was like, he was bringing up the fact that he talked to me like two years ago. I have not spoken to this officer in two years. I didn't even know he was a cop. I just thought he was a dude that went to my gym, right? And so I have not spoken to him in years. I haven't seen him in years, right? I saw him in 2020. In December, I literally had a... I, while I was driving home, I went back in my memory. I spoke to him in an office in my gym in December of 2020, and he remembered me. And he remembered who I was. He said, I talked to you in the gym with the manager because I was like, oh, fuck. Because he mentioned the manager. Manager hasn't worked there in fucking years. So I'm like, holy shit. Like, I remember you. Doesn't even look at my license. <laughs> just just hands it back to me. Just hands it back to me. And he goes, have a nice day. I <laughs> just walks away. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? Every other time I've been pulled over, they fucking grab that shit. They go into the back. They fucking, they fucking do like, you know what I mean? They grab your license. They sit in their car for 30 minutes, probably watch a few TikToks. While fucking the shit's loading up. Then then they mosey on back down with a penguin waddle. And hand you a fucking ticket. Right? Normally that's what they do. They grab that shit. Oh, sit tight. They tap your car. And then they fucking sit in their car for a half hour. And waste your fucking time. Right? Because I was kind of pissed that I was going to sit there. I was like, alright, I'm going to get a ticket. I'm more mad that I'm going to be sitting here for 10 minutes. He fucking, he recognizes me. And he's like, I'm going to give you a warning. Have a nice day. But he didn't even write me a warning. He just like left. Do y'all think if he didn't know me, he would have given me a ticket? I don't know. I think it was also in part that, like, I still technically stopped at the stop sign. I just went over the stop sign. 
I think he would have given me a written warning if I didn't know him, right? Uh, I don't think I would have gotten a ticket in hindsight either way just because I did stop, but I stopped over the line. Like, I full stopped. Like, the car, you know when you stop at a stop sign and the car goes like this and it, like, rocks because the fucking brakes, it, like, full stops? Uh, it did that, so that's a full stop. If you don't do that, they could pull you over for running a stop sign. Um, but it did do that. Anyways, that was the story. It wasn't that interesting. I didn't get in a, a fucking drunk police chase like this guy's about to get into. Uh, but yeah. Uh, metal for the sub grace for the three inch, but he's loved the streams. All you do for us, making me laugh. Love from Michigan. Duh. The boy toxin for the hundred dollar dono. Says not always the most money, but I'd rather see you have a good day. Love to be part of the stream. Dude, stop sending me a hundred dollars and then saying that it's not a lot of money. A hundred dollars is the biggest denomination of cash that you could have in the United States. That is a lot of money. While it is not forty thousand dollars, the the a salary, it's still a shitload, right? Thank you for the hundred. Fuck the boy toxin dub. Uh, Cotton for the sub. Uh, Dio for the three hundred. But he split for the sub. Target for the sub. Dre for the three hundred. But he's Kellen for the three hundred. Bets. I think I'm caught up. Platinum for the sub. Mark for the sub. And the boy toxin. Thank you for the hundred again. And Dallas B for the fifty gifteds. Uh, Jack for the five gifteds and Eli for the 25 gifteds. Jack, Jack for the fucking sub. All right. Everybody lock in. We're getting into the fucking reacts today. First off, we got the worst drunk driving liar. We're not doing a Darman video today, by the way, as you can see. Men rank themselves by penile size. Already went through all the rest of these. Blah, 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 blah. You'll see. Okay. Um, is it? Okay. Well, we'll ask if this one is COS when we get there. First video, the worst drunk driving liar. Everybody lock in, locked in, type locked in right now, right now. Pay the fuck attention. We're starting this shit out. When did this video come out? A year ago. March 17th, 2021. Stop, traffic stop in Oakdale. Is that Wisconsin? WI is Wisconsin, right? Ew. Why are like half of these videos Wisconsin? I feel like half of the videos we've seen are Wisconsin. How much you had to drink tonight? No. Officer, officer. B Officer Beer, how how doing today? I did not have any drinks. Nothing? He just slurs his words. He makes absolutely no fucking sense. Uh, I had nothing to drink, Officer. Maybe a couple brewskis. Maybe a handle of vodka. I still have it in the back, though. Didn't finish it yet. So, you know, I think I'm good to drive. What did I do? How much you had to drink tonight? Nothing. Nothing? You'd blow zeros? Maybe. <laughs> How many beers do you think you have? Zero, man. Zero? Help me out, man. Like, what, what are we doing here? Like, what did I do? <laughs> Help me out, man. What's this epic-ass intro? Monroe County officer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Oakdale, we already read that. Wisconsin, after police ran a registration check. Oh, uh, he got pulled over for a registration issue. Why is this quiet as fuck? Let's fast forward. Yeah, this is how slow they walk, though. Why do they do that? Is it supposed to be intimidating? They'll fucking, they'll, they'll have their hands on their fucking, on their little vest, and it's like a penguin waddle. Like, you can, you can measure each step. And it's like, it takes them like 30 minutes to get to your fucking car. What seems to be the officer problem? <laughs> Why since in registration? What seems to be the officer problem? <laughs> Bro, that is actually fucking hilarious. Yeah, didn't Randy Marsh say that in South Park? Oh, you know he's shitting bricks, too. You're pissed drunk driving the fucking four-door family vehicle. Oh, sir. What's up, bud? Hey, you wouldn't happen to be Jeffrey, would you? I would. You would? Yes, sir. Okay. 
So the reason I'm stopping you is a few different things. Is the registration suspended? The I know. And then your driver's license is suspended also. Oh! <laughs> oh, he's fucked. Why are you driving on a suspended license? Wouldn't that mean that he already got like five points on his license? That means he'd gotten pulled over for some big shit previously. Oh, God, dude. That's a GG's. That's already a GG's. Your, reg your registration's fucking uh, suspended and or suspended or expired, and your license is suspended. So, where you guys Why at? does this car door have a padlock? A lot of cars have that. Instead of a key, they have like a... It's like a combination. What do? Her house. Oh, and your passenger? Yep. Okay, where are you coming from? Just going home. Okay. okay. Oh, my God. Say, oh, my God. Say you're coming from a friend's house, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, lying 101. Lying 101. Where are you coming? Just going home? The only place you would lie about is like uh, a fu uh, from fucking coming from a bar. Bro, at that point, say you're coming from a swingers party. Like, at that, yeah, I was watching my wife get fucked. Like, like, like that's a better lie. That's a better fucking thing to say. <laughs> All right. Do you have uh, your driver's license on yet? No. Like any ID oh my or? god! Oh no! Why are you driving a car? Just Uber! You're fucking every single thing that could go wrong is going wrong. Anything? You know who I am? Uh, I don't. Well, I, I don't. I mean, well, I got your. Inf if you're Jeffrey, I got your information, but yeah, I don't. But I don't know sure. that. I do. I just don't. Okay. Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? She hands him a Pokemon card. Uh, yeah, I I actually do. And she hands him like a Costco discount card. Credit card or anything, Jeff? No. Nothing like a big ass. Okay. Why don't we keep this under wraps, officer? Slides him a PSA 10 Charizard. <laughs> Why don't we why don't we keep this DUI between us, officer? <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but this is a this is a PSA nine Charizard. <laughs> All right, sure, I'll take one. <laughs> Wait, what did it say? His eyes do look glossy. His eyes were glassy, and his speech was slow and slightly slurred. I wouldn't know if it, I would say it was slightly slurred. It definitely was slow, and his eyes are definitely glassy. All right, sure, I'll take one. Dude, I want to see one where they pull somebody over and they look fucking fried out of their mind. You know what I mean? Like, it's always somebody drunk. Maybe because high people don't drive. Or they just don't get pulled over. It's probably that. But, like, like, dude, some, like, you pull somebody over, they shine the light, and their eyes are just fucking, like, blood red. Just, like, fucking blood red. Wait, uh, yeah, well, wait, no, there was one guy that was high, and he said he had some fucking eye condition. Slides him a thin slice of cheese. Why don't we keep this between us? Gives him a, gives him a, a foot long Subway sandwich. What did I this is an Italian with oregano, officer. I think you're gonna leave. I think you're gonna need to let me go on this one. I do. So part of the, our job is just running plates. So as you pass, I run the plate. Comes back suspended. Your driver's license. So that's we're within our authority to do that. Okay. Maybe. When asked if he would blow zeros on a preliminary test, he responded, maybe. Nah, bro. You just got to say yes. Yes. You Like, at that point, evade doing it at all costs. Like, at, like now he's just fucked himself. I mean, he was already fucked from the start. How much you had to drink tonight? Nothing. Nothing? You'd blow zeros? Maybe. Oh, uh, well, actually, I drink a lot of kombucha, so, uh... You know, there might be some sort of thing that would come up. Maybe a .01 or something. I actually, I have a gallon of, I grew up, you know, I, I actually, I ferment my own kombucha at my house. Uh, I don't drink water. I, I have a few gallons of kombucha in the back. Uh, I chug that shit, right? So, you know, maybe I'll blow like a little bit, but. <laughs> All right. Do you have insurance on the vehicle? Uh, I do. Who's that with? Bottleberg. Who is that? Oh, you just, you're just making that up? It's a, Google it, man. It's a real thing. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, now let me run this real quick. I'll be right back with you. But he doesn't have the insurance in his car or anything. He doesn't have registration or insurance. He, his license was revoked and was operating a vehicle with an expired registration. What, like, to get your license revoked, don't you have to do some, like, whack shit? Not necessarily a DUI, but for, like, getting basically pulled over, you have to be going, like, 40 over or some shit. You have to have a lot of points on your license to get it revoked. Shout out for the sub-19 for the 300 minutes. I'm taking the medicine that gets rid of the acne. It's making my depression slightly worse. Should I continue taking it? Uh, I would not go to Joe Bartolozzi for advice on that. Uh, I would go to your doctor. Uh, uh, I'm sorry that I can't give you an answer, but that is a medical question. Uh, I am not a doctor. I am a 21-year-old Twitch streamer. I, I, I don't, I'm not even going to school for medicine. I think that you should ask a professional about that. Uh, Lane up for the sub, Shrebo for the 300 bitties. He's driving the same model car I have. Savvy for the sub, David for the 300 bitties. The PP size video isn't TOS. I saw somebody watch it last night. Okay, word. Eli for the sub, or Ellie for the sub, my bad. My dog got run over? Rip. Isn't Brooke doing pre-med? She was. Now she's a literature student. Damn, you know it's serious business when they got that big cowboy hat on. When they got that flat brim that like leans forward slightly. And they walk up, they walk up to the car. How are we doing today, officer? Even though even though you're in the north, they have a country accent. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? I actually got pulled over by one of those guys before. It's always state police. It's Eli for the 10 gifteds. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. It's Eli in the crib. Thank you for the fucking subs. Thank them if you got a sub in, bro. It's Eli. Thank you for the 10 gifteds, dude. Genuinely. 25 gifts is the, uh, earlier this stream, too. And uh, his passenger, she's not in shape to be driving either, so. Oh. But he's revoked. And registration, so. Bro, they whisper into each other. Maybe get a lavalier mic, buddy. I can't hear you. He agreed to a field sobriety test and showed multiple clues of intoxication. He refused a preliminary breath test, so the police obtained a warrant for a blood draw. You can get a warrant to draw someone's blood? What's up, bud? All right, Jeff. Please. Hold up one moment, officer, before we do this blood draw. He runs into the woods, kills a raccoon, and fucking, like, pours the blood in the vial. Could I actually do this in the woods for a minute? Proceeds to chase a possum. Who do you got on the phone there? Uh, that's weird. This blood doesn't even show as human. Are you a lizard person? Because <laughs> this is uh, a bit odd. Here, You're actually testing positive for AIDS, rabies, as well as syphilis. So, oh, you already, you already planning ahead? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what's going to happen here, but I do have to run you through field sobriety for sure. If you can pass field sobriety, then we would just probably need to, you. are on bond. I don't know if we'd take you in on that or not. Um, if we release you, she could possibly. I, feel I don't like want. I, I don't probably pass. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to jump probably ahead. Probably pass. Oh my god, walk in with some more fucking gall, buddy. Walk in with some more fucking confidence on that shit. Probably pass. Probably pass. I will pass, officer. I'm not drunk. What the fuck? <laughs> Ahead of ourselves here. Um, so if you want to just let her know, you'll call her back. If he doesn't want to be wrong if he fails. He's already lying. He's drunk. If you're already lying about be about being drunk, at least double down. Did or somebody will call her back. Mm -hmm. So, what do you want me to do? Oh, I'm gonna have. Oh you my god, this guy's this guy's a mess. Step out, and we're gonna. All right, here, hold this. I'm trying to do field sobriety here. He all just right? falls fl flat on his face. Right. Thank you, sir. All right, we'll just have you step up to the front bumper. <clears throat> How's this going to go? You didn't have an IID in there, did you? What's that? An IID? No. I think you're blowing. You don't have one. An ignition interlock device is an in-car breathalyzer that prevents the user from starting vehicle until a breath alcohol test is taken. One of those. Okay. 
Oh, hang tight right there. I'm just gonna adjust this down here, so. Yo, you know he means business when he's holding his hoodie like this. Buddy got the V-neck hoodie. I ain't seen one of those in fucking years. Alright. You mind if I just check your pockets and then you can put your hands back in there if you want to. Somebody said quality's awful. Of my video or their video? It's a fucking cop body cam. So if you're referencing their video, that's literally not my fault. It's awful. Oh yeah, no, my quality's fine. What do you got here? Got puffer. The puffer? Asthma. Asthma? Yes, sir. Now you do have a license. Yeah. It's not a license, though. Well, it's an ID. It's got a yeah. picture. All right, I'll have you turn around, Chase, or uh, face me here. You said you're coming from Lacrosse. Yes, where, where, whereabouts? At home. At, at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just taking her home. Okay. You had a little bit to drink. A little bit. What, what do you usually drink? <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> you don't want to answer? I would like to do our test. Okay. That'd be nice. Part of part of me getting there is and yeah. building that suspicion to put you through field sobriety. I know <laughs> what you're saying. You know. Yes, so. Sir. Yo, you see the fucking smoke emitting off this bull's head? I have been staring at that. You know? Yes, so, sir. look at that. Are you willing to t tell me kind of what you've been drinking or how many? Zero. Okay. All right. So, first test we're going to do then is the eye test. You want to tip those glasses? I know it's not smoke. You know, and then here comes Crucible. That's steam, Joe. I know, Crucible. I know it's not smoke. What do you think? He's actively burning things inside of his body. Up there for me. Wow, he's literally emitting steam on the entirety of his person. Have any head injuries at all? Or... I used to fight. So like you like get an MMA fighter head. or something? Yeah, you get punched okay. in the head. For Just it. give yourself a concussion right there so you don't have to fucking do the sobriety test. Just slam your head on the fucking car door. Gotcha. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you put your feet together like I am here. You're going to keep your hands down to your sides just like this. You're going to stay in this position until I tell you otherwise, okay? When I tell you to... Oh, I hate when they do this test. I'm going to get to where he has to walk. Put your left foot on that line. Are you able to... Stay and in they that. always bitch. They always say, this test is stupid. Down that line. I got to have you get back in that position, though. Okay. You're going to return back down this line, counting nine heel-to-toe steps. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, he's walking not in a straight line. Ooh, that was a fucking wobble step. Okay, next thing is going to be the one leg stand. Oh, I don't care about the test. You know, you're aiming at S without singing it. What do you mean? You're going to do the ABCs, mm -hmm. but you're going to start at D and you're going to stop at S. Like ABC. D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S. That's easy as fuck. Start at D. Just say A B C in your head. D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Like what? Please. You sung it. What do you mean? Oh, you just sang. What are you supposed to do? What do you mean? You're gonna do the ABCs. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna start at D and you're gonna stop at S. You start at D and stop at S. Say it in a normal voice. D E F G H I J K. It's not that's not hard. That's really not hard. I could do that piss drunk. I could do that piss drunk. I could be blackout drunk. I could fucking say my ABCs like that. <sighs> you fucked it up. How the fuck did you just how did I fuck it up? Like ABCs? Yep. You're supposed to sing it. 
Okay, well, are you supposed to sing it or are you not supposed to sing it, you fucking dumbass? Because half of my chat's saying you're supposed to sing it, and then Two Inch says you're not supposed to sing it, or you are supposed to sing it. <laughs> Starting at D. Done before. One, two, I think you have. Zero, man. Zero? Help me out, man. Like, what, what do we- But he just said zero drinks when he previously just said he had a couple drinks. She's fine. Okay. She's, a, she's an angel. Sure. So, okay. So, how, how many beers do you think you had? Zero, man. Zero? Help me out, man. Like, what, what are we doing here? Like, what did I do? I told you why I stopped. Just trying to yeah. well, I understand that. I, I, I hear this from everybody. I know. I we get do. It. We got to make sure you're getting there safely. I, I understand am, though, you didn't get. But I really am though. I understand you I'm didn't get in the your... crash, but I'm not. Though. We got to do it the right way, right? And you got to have sure. a driver's license. And I understand. You that. Can't be over the legal limit. And, and you're actually on O2 restrictions. I feel like I passed this test good, man. You know I did. <laughs> you know I did, man. I didn't. I like you know. I only swayed a little bit outside of the lines. You know, I couldn't say my ABCs right, but it's not that big of a deal, bro. Come on. I'm trying to get her home, man. You know that. Oh, wait, sure. get you. Can I just, like, pay this ticket or whatever? Like, this is going to ruin my goddamn life. Well, I'm not. Ooh. See, right there, you're admitting to a DUI. I don't have to ruin anybody's I life. Know. Well, I mean, he's going to get it either way. They got a fucking warrant for a blood test. Like, please don't let me be at all. So, please. Oh, uh, could I have my one free DUI ticket? Um, I, I'm just informing you, officer, this is my first time I've gotten a DUI, and I, I've been told previously that, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I have a, j I get out of jail free card. Damn it, you should start, he should have carried that with him. You know the Monopoly get out of jail free card? Imagine handing an officer that. How do you think that would pan out? How do you think, do you think they would think that's funny or not? I think that would be depending on the officer. You hand him, you're like piss drunk. He like come, he like, you, he, you roll down the window. He's like, you have a few beers? You just hand, you don't even say anything. You just hand him the get out of jail free. All right, have a nice day. He taps the car, you just drive away. Well, the fact of the matter is we didn't pass field. So now, why didn't we pass field? Is it your know. injury or is it something else? I you, guarantee you, it's my injury. You know? So you right. saw how fast I was going for like this good stuff. Sure. So are you are you willing to bond with PVT? What if we did Twitch get out of jail free cards with the exception of some things and people can win them and get unbanned? How would you win a get out of jail free card? That's also a terrible system to do in my chat because you know damn well some kid would win a get out of jail free card and then just say the n word in my chat and then think it's fucking hilarious. Just I just see, can't. see where you're at. My mouth is just too dry and I can't breathe. Okay. I got asthma. Well, that's kind of that's the only a terrible hope. idea. I'm letting you know that right now because that's going to prompt people to do something uh, dumb. Somebody said this is boring. Well, leave uh, or, you know, just sit it out for three minutes. Uh, I don't think it's boring. If you do, who gives a fuck? You know, you can sit here for fucking three minutes or you can leave. It's up to you. Hope here. I mean, if you're willing to blow into that PBT, I just can't. <laughs> you're refusing? I can't refuse. My lungs are bad. I have asthma. You want to at least give it a shot? I have asthma. That's why you can't blow into a fucking into a, into a fucking breathalyzer. I have asthma. Don't you blow into it for like four seconds? Can't. Then I have to place you under arrest. Somebody said, "L Joe, this is boring." Chat, is this boring? Yes or no? I think I skipped the boring parts. I think it's pretty interesting again. That's why I kind of skipped that. Right when it got boring, I kind of go yink and I skip to where it's not boring. That's how cop videos work. I understand. Okay, all right. Step up here and then put your hands Officer, back. I have gout. <laughs> officer, officer, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I don't think I can blow a breathalyzer test. Uh, I, Officer, uh, I actually kind of have a strain in my elbow here. I don't think I'm going to be able to blow into your, into your breathalyzer. Stand your back. All right, bring your hands together just like this here. Are they arresting him? The jail's gonna ask you too, and if they find something, then they're gonna charge you extra. Not that guy. So here's another wad of money. Let's count that. That's not a wad of money. More, more money than I got. <laughs> Why is he counting this man's money? That's just weird. 
<laughs> Officer, why don't we why don't we work this out between the two of us? I hand him I hand him a bunch of Monopoly money. Like the biggest stack of Monopoly money you've ever seen. Officer, why don't we hand this out? Why don't we handle this between the two of us? You know the game, the board game Life? You give him one of those hundred thousand dollar bills from Life. She said she got the wrong one. That's my dad. I told him he died. Like he Officer, mm, I have a few pounds of weed in the back of my car. If you want to snag a few, you know, and just call us, call us even, we can leave. You know, if you want to, you want a few nose beers. I got a, I got a couple in the back. You know, you want to, you want a few, uh, you want a few lines. You know, I got a few. I know. What would you eat in a fucking tent? Really? Yes. It's not nice. Is that nice? I think it. You said nice. Oh, I didn't say that. Oh, did I? Yeah. You know you did. If I did, I'm totally sorry. I, I don't recall. I didn't. But he's really counting this man's money. That ain't what I, I don't believe I said that. It's on, it's on there. I'll, I'll I totally apologize if I did. That's it's not. Okay. I'm just that's, this on there. That's, that's Why not, is he counting his money? <laughs> this makes no sense. A vaping device with marijuana residue. Is that illegal? It has marijuana, like a, like a nicotine vape with like marijuana on the side or like a cart. Like if they found a cart or like a fucking, like an actual cart or like a nicotine device. They found a weed vape. Is weed illegal in uh, Wisconsin? Bro, I had it ready? Yeah, it's right next to my, uh, it's just on my desk. I always keep it on my desk. Uh, hit a blinker? I'll hit it when we get to this video. Cause just, just for, for the culture. I'll hit it when we get to the high video. I'm not trying to, I've been trying to smoke last chat. Can I at least get some water, man? Is it cool? Is there a water bottle in the car? I hope so. What do you, I want to know what he got charged with. Oh. Dury faces a uh, felony of sixth offense, dr sixth offense drunk driving. Does that mean he's he's gotten a DUI six times? What does sixth offense mean? That is not his sixth time. They would just permanently take away your license. Sixth offense DUI death. What does sixth offense mean? Does that really mean his sixth DUI? It's 10 years in prison. A sixth DUI is a class G felony and up to 10 years in prison. Oh, he did have an ignition interlock device. So this is not his first DUI. Whack though that like some states you could get dead ass arrested for marijuana. Like I can legally walk around with this, but if I had this and I waved this in front of a cop in like Texas, they would fucking arrest me. Well, not Texas. I think Texas it's a misdemeanor. Uh, in like what's a state that ha that's really Ill illegal with weed? Pennsylvania. If I held this in Pennsylvania, I would get five years in prison, or up to five years. Well, it, that would be if I had like a pound of weed. GRZ for the seven run for the five, uh, 420 bets. GRZ for the three uh, three gifted. Uh, 19 for the three inch bets. Uh, thanks, Joe. You a you add me 10k in a month already. You add me you add me 10k in a month already. I don't even know what the fuck that means. A Spectre for the sub. GRZ for the sub. Z Smith for the sub. Flanders for the three inch bets. Hope you're having a good day, Lucas for the four inch bets in the tornado right now. Rip. Uh, J Crafting for the sub. 19 for the three inch bets. How do you feel about dopamine detox? Uh, I don't know if that. If you don't know what it is, it's getting rid of social media. Uh, well, I can't do that because that's my fucking job. Uh, Callie for the sub, so I've never tried it. Daddy for the five hundred bets. Missed the other stream. Uh, sorry to hear about the Twitch rivals. All good. Uh, it's Eli for the gifteds again. And what do you mean you add me 10K in a month already? Does that make sense, chat? The fuck does that even mean? You add me, you add me 10K in a month. 
You got to retell me what you're trying to fucking say, pal. That makes no damn sense. Uh, TJ for the fucking 300 biddies. I live in PA. The cops do not care about weed. Uh, that depends on the cop. They care about getting hard drugs like fat and coke off the streets. Yeah, but if you're getting pulled over in rural PA and you have a fucking ounce of weed on you, they'll probably arrest you. Uh, Hans for the sub. All right. Uh, next video. This one's going to be a rough watch. Men rank themselves by penile size. How do you guess penile size by just looking at someone? Great. All right. <laughs> Is this age restricted? It's not. Okay. Okay. That's the moment okay. of truth, my friend. Yeah. Be all right. Are they really gonna measure his dick? <laughs> okay. They start by guessing who has the biggest eggplant based on appearance. At the end, they'll be measured and ranked by their soft length and hard length. Yo, I'm gonna ask a genuine question here. They got another person measuring their shit by hard length. Right? This ain't no doctor's inspection, right? I understand the soft length. You could you could pass that, right? How you measure in hard length? What are they going into a room by themselves coming out? All right, I'm ready. And then they then they got to do it real quick. Circumference. So, is everyone clear on what we're doing? Circumference. In today? Uh, ranking dick sizes. Perfect. <laughs> I think we all agreed. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you have that look. Right. Your eyes, your eyes, man. Just something about them. You look like a porn star, bro. Oh. So I'm gonna say that you the biggest. All right, now. Yeah, but how how fucking how fucking degrading that would feel if they're like you got the biggest. All right, the results. Half an inch. Like that would be pretty bad. Wow. Hans for the sub, 19 for the forge biddies. I can't talk. I met fit. I met you. I met made me 10k. I'm 15 and run a business and watch your videos and streams to keep me entertained. Well, I have not made you 10k. You made yourself 10k. You just use me as an entertainment outsource. The smallest. I don't know. You have a lot of confidence. Oh, wait, no, no, no. The smallest. Oh, I was gonna say next, like, uh, next biggest. So even though I'm black, don't think that that's just <laughs> <laughs> what it is. Has nothing to do not with it. it. Yeah, I'm putting myself in the middle somewhere. You know, it's like there's. And you guys, you guys are taller for some reason. I think that tall dudes might be a little more packing. Yeah, and what's I the shoe see. size? I'm yeah. small. Oh, small, small shoe size. Size. Isn't that a myth that shoe size matches? I feel like you should so slide down a little bit. Uh, it's <laughs> not. It's not the shoes. I will say I have seen some little, like, smaller folks who are really packing. So I don't really don't know what to expect, though, man. But I think because y'all are a bit more bulkier, I think y'all might be a little bit more packing. Give me, give, me, right give me a try. Yeah, how do you nicely say, I think you have a small dick? Like, that's, that's not, you can't, you can't nicely say that. Give me a try. What okay. Do you... Number one. Sorry, don't get offended. <laughs> <laughs> God, bro, that is fucked up. That is fucked up. There's no way of not making it fucked up, but he just said number one with no hesitation. Sorry, don't get offended. <laughs> <laughs> you come here. You go for number three. You go for like number this. two. I think he knows what he's you doing. You go for number four. Yeah. Where do you want it? You go there. So. All right. <laughs> how do you know? Oh, yeah, how do you know? How do you know? How do you know so much about this, huh? How do you know? How do you know so much about this based on appearance, hey? Why do you, Why are you so confident on uh, on on what people are uh, packing down there? How do you know? X-ray vision? I don't think he has X-ray vision. What makes you think yeah, like? What, what makes you think like yeah, him? The bottom or so where do you think you stand amongst the group? Me? Yeah. Where do you think you? Stand? I can't put myself there. Well, so where do you think you stand? <laughs> it's not up to me. It's up to you to decide. <laughs> I think he should just stay there. I'm fine with him staying. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, that confident. Bro, imagine, imagine the results come out and he's smallest, though. That would be nuts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> <that'd be insane. laughs> this is a hard watch. Oh, it's probably going to get worse. Right? Because they're just talking right now, right? Then they actually have to measure. On the top of the <laughs> this is literally the South Park episode. Y'all know the South Park episode? 
where like they 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 show how much they've grown in height on a board and all the guys think it's their sizes, right? And so they go and measure each other in the bathroom. I think the two of you should switch at the very least though. You, I mean who would agree to do this? I mean, like like that is a whack. That is fucking whack. They're coming on this show. Oh yeah, no, I'll do this. How do they cast this? This one. <laughs> like every episode, every other episode, it makes sense. Hey, take it, take, take it, so take I, the win. So I have a question for you. Who do you think would be packing? Because this, we got a rank. The two that yo, we. I think he's the sleeper build. I'm not. Yo, I'm not. I there. I can't. I can't watch this video and not say something that's weird. I think he's a sleeper build, right? I think he's got. I think he's got. You're 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 thinking like oh uh, no he's yeah yo I said that bro that's what I'm saying like you're like oh he's like a short white guy but like nah like yeah I'm thinking the sleeper right there we have is the smallest I would say probably they're low key they're not talking a whole lot I yeah, they haven't said anything this man has not said one word got to at least I don't even know what he sounds like because y'all a bit more hefty. I don't think I belong at the other end though well damn that's the point <laughs> yeah this guy's like six seven. Here, I'll take one for the team and go to this no, side so that no one has to. Can I switch with you? I mean, yeah. whatever you think. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think that's good. It, do yeah. you have any input on this? I think I think I belong. All right, maybe. yo, no, he's gotta have like, yo, I how do I how do I talk about this and not sound fucking whack? If he's that confident that he's number one, like, what do you got a world record? What do you got a world record tree trunk down there, pal? Like, what are you packing, man? Like, you're that confident? You think none of these guys could be bigger. You think you're the one, right? He's like 5'5", five, five too. He's pretty short. In the middle, to be honest. So I'm going to slide between maybe y'all two. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe after you, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. Everybody's a little self-conscious. <laughs> okay. All right, I, I think we're locked in. Locked in? Sure. Looks good. <laughs> okay, perfect. The men will now rearrange themselves as they discuss dating, pornography, comparison, and insecurities. How does how does discussing pornography change it? I feel like that's a bad placement. I don't think. But he's got the sleeper build. I'm Tom. I, I yo, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. I'm I mean, fucking hell. I, I can't, I can't not watch this. Bro, you can't watch this video not to, it, it, and commentate on it normally. You should be at the, at the very end. I'll just say, uh, I can, uh, suck my own dick. So I would say, I don't belong here. That could right. be a flexible I, I thing, though. I still gonna put you in. I still gonna put you in. We'll move you on. Wait. Wait. Yeah. I got one. What's the longest relationship everyone's been in? For me, five years. Okay. How does that have to do with it? What's the longest relationship you've ever been in? Okay. What about you? Longest was like two and a half. All right. Mine was five years. What about you guys? Six years. Six years. Five years. Yeah. Not applicable. <laughs> right? Yeah, all right. Never. All right. Never. Oh. It depends. Hmm. Depends. Depends if you ask me or you ask my partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay, well, that solidifies our kind of like bachelors over here on this end. <laughs> Is, you know, somebody's going to lock it down with somebody who's got that consistent boyfriend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Define boyfriend. <laughs> it's honestly going to be on the smaller end, in yeah, my like opinion. Average. Oh, so Should because be I've been in a relationship for five years, I got small dick. Okay. <laughs> That doesn't make sense because if you – somebody said let's pass this video. You don't have to watch I, – I know, I, like, if this does make you guys uncomfortable, you do not have to watch this video by any means. You can leave and come back in, like, 20 minutes. I'm not even going to shit – I'm not, like, angry if you don't want to watch this. I know this is more of, like, oh, this is kind of a weird fucking video. This video is so weird. Yeah, I know, but it's also kind of fucking funny. I'm saying, like, yeah, this is a hard watch. I'm saying, dude. How would being in a long relationship change it or, or, or like determine size if by the end of your life, most people have been in a relationship? Like that's saying anybody that's large would be, have never been in a relationship. Isn't this TOS? No, other people have watched it. <laughs> is this TOS? I don't think this is TOS. 
Tilo, uh, Tello for the sub, Isaiah for the sub. It's a fucking Jubilee video that's not age restricted. And they're not showing anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna slide you in front of me because I got Susie that watched it? Okay. All right, but I'm not gonna lie though. Now that we've had him there for a minute, that's a little sus. That's like, a good point. I don't think it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. That. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it's sus, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. I think it's fine. If he's that confident that he up there, I'm not gonna fucking question it. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna challenge his stance if he's that. If he's that confident. Like, that ain't some average, slightly above average. If you're that confident, you've probably Googled it. So let's be real here. He's in first place because we think he f You know what I mean? Yeah. You know well, what I mean? Let's ask him then. Are you f***ing? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you get a lot of sex? Do you I, get sex a lot? I had the sex before I came to set. Oh, there you see yeah, what uh, I mean? I, I'm, I'm, I'm good with I it. had the sex before I came to set. In there, yeah. yeah. What is a five to six inches? Is it a big or a small one? Well, five and a half is average for Americans. Yeah. I want to move you up. No, we, you want to switch, right? You want to okay. switch? Yeah. I think him and I might be able to. And I'm still going to change between you and him. Me and him? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Wait, but you're, dude, you're definitely. Well, I, I disagree. <laughs> I will say, just to add this little twid bit, I remember some years ago, there was a girl that I was really attracted to, and we ended up messing around, right? And I was thinking, damn, if only I was bigger. Go for a second. Go for a second. <laughs> <laughs> what did they bleep? He went. Beep. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I felt defeated, but that's the only time in my life I felt defeated. I just realized I can't handle everything, and I, I admit that. That's yeah. fair. Okay. There's no yeah. wrong there. It happens to us all. I mean, because of that <laughs> honesty, though, I might just push you a little bit, like, towards three. I mean, has anybody else here failed the Vita before? Honestly, no. I'm usually... Oh, I'm ain't nobody gonna say they relate? That's fucked up, bro. I at least give a pity relation. Oh, my God. I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You might be proud, but were they proud? Yeah, yeah no, both parties left nine times out of ten. Both parties left happy. Um, so then to the question of does like does size matter? Well, as a gay man, I always say that I'm not a size queen. I'm a penile proportion queen. You can have a. What the fuck does that mean? What the hell does that mean? Small but really pretty dick, right? And a big dick is can just be like a massive gargantuan honking thing, right? There's beauty in all penises, is what I like to say. Wow. That was deep. <laughs> <laughs> Very poetic. Well, actually, that makes me think of something interesting. We have, like, the three shortest guys as the three biggest too, yeah. There's, like, a stereotype in the gay community that, like, small, like, small, skinny guys always have, like, a honking third sure. thing because, like, they don't go to the gym, so all their energy and food goes to that instead. Okay. I have that's a isn't it an organ? That's not how it would work. Smiley, it's all for the sub. Josh, Isaiah for the sub. Tello for the sub. The same size penis since I'm fourth grade. I know being overweight affects it, right? Because then there's being fat being built and then it shrinks. So anyone, but none of these guys are really overweight. What? Well, what? what? Where are you going to put me now? What if he has a micro penis? What if we uh, have we're There is no way that he's that confident with a fucking halfer, dude. No possible chance. Thinking him as the biggest dick, and he's got like a, a beautiful There's little no one way. inch. Uh, beautiful one old. inch. A beautiful. <laughs> wow. There's beauty in all things. Yes, you say that. Well, yeah. I mean, did you hit puberty like fourth grade? No. I was a tiny when did you little hit? man. So there's right. no way. In that case, so I he's would under, kind of. Bro, yeah. yeah. So in that case, like, I would probably put you a little bit more here. I'd probably well, put you next to me. Next to you. Yeah. yeah. Love We're it. switching it up. And I think you should slide because you didn't feel defeated, my friend. <laughs> I'm happy either way. I don't really right care. Right here. I, I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Can you speak about the pressure to be bigger? Uh, personally, I've never faced it. Nah, I'm, nah. Yeah. I don't feel that. No. I don't. Yeah, nah. I don't feel that. I, 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 I didn't feel pressure until today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there should ever be a pressure, right? Because if it's, if it's something that you can't control, then don't care, right? If you can't control it, you can't change it, then, not, then don't care about it. I think there's a lot, of, a lot of pressure to impress. Can you go next? Dude, we're already halfway through. We're already halfway through.
as I said, and I'm not going to be mad, if you want to leave, I, like, I'm not saying this where somebody's, like, boring and then I go off on them, right? If you are uncomfortable watching this, you can leave, right? Like, I'm not being rude when I say it. I'm saying, like, come back in 20 minutes, right? And, you know... Even a personal pressure and a confidence boost. True. You know. Yeah, it's, it's just interesting hearing them talk about something that has to be akin to male confidence, right? Because it is something that people do talk about, right? Like, women won't obviously don't talk about that for a fucking obvious reason, but uh, I've, never, I've never seen a video of men talking about this. Societal thing, I mean, like, growing up, if there's not a lot of sex education in schools, so you learn a lot of stuff either from, like, porn or like other things like no. that Man, and that basically yeah you shouldn't learn it that's, right. that's the goal of this <laughs> of this video but <laughs> i think uh at least i'm i'm from israel so it's very close-minded we're not talking about sexuality or They have the same average as the United States. I, that's what I was Googling. Somebody ban the kid that keeps saying do coke lines. Sex. So, porn. And this is the number one mistake. Because mm. porn so is start comparing yourself. completely fake. It's very bad to compare yourself or look into porn to, to see what to do, how to do it. Oh, yeah, no, porn addictions are terrible as well as they're not educational or learning in any possible way. It is literally just akinning to, like, the weirdest desires that people would have. It would be around communication with your partner, and, yeah, all penises are gorgeous the way they are. Mm. Has anyone done any sex work? Okay, yeah, number one, number one, stay number one. You're good, bro. You're good, bro. You're up there, man. We get it. We get it. As I said, sleeper build. We get it. Okay. I actively do porn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Move him up one. Move him up one. Move him up one. Yep. Okay, slide this guy back one down. Put you next to me. <laughs> Joe knows his men. No, I just know a really skinny white guy when I see a really skinny white guy. I put you next to me. <laughs> He's an acrobat over here. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, because of that, I'm going to go into third, and I feel like you should be in second. What does everyone else do? I work in IT. I'm, a, I'm, I'm an investor. <laughs> well, you got to have, you know, big. You don't need a big dick to make money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, big, big risk. You know? I'm a nurse, so in all honesty, working in the hospital, you have to, like, clean them and everything. I've seen. Oh, oh. Stop, 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 stop. I immediately think of like when they shit themselves in the bed. Oh, stop. No, don't want to hear about that. No, 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 no. I can handle the rest of this conversation. That's too far, right? When you start talking about cleaning old people and shit. Uh-uh. Stop. Stop. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Don't want to talk about when you wipe people's asses and shit. Nope. In a lot of penises. Everybody's okay, a yeah, here we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. About the same like size so. because you've seen so many dicks where do you feel like you fall in the spectrum of penises you don't see them erect so technically and I he only seeing old people if we being real bro he's not seeing 30 year olds all right he's not seeing 30 year olds right he ain't seeing an average dude he's seeing somebody decrepit 80 80 year old men can still be wrong hmm. but i would put myself maybe at like a little bit like bigger than Okay. But like, so like not, exactly I wouldn't say around. a lot. Yeah. What, so you said, what do we do? Like, what do the rest of you guys do? Then yeah. wouldn't center be average? Shouldn't, oh wait, no, he is li literally slightly above average then. The rest of you guys do. Yeah, I'm a chef. I own an escape room. I mean, yeah, But he yeah. owns an escape room. I have never met somebody that said that's their job. I mean, someone taking this ill, and I don't mind taking it right now, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't mind it. I mean, it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm Asian, you know, I'm half Asian, so it's uh, it's understandable if you guys think something uh, about it. <laughs> well, where where y'all want me? Just let me know now. Number where three. I yeah. say three. Three, three? Three, oh. three. Oh, yeah, three, four. Number two. Well, I guess 
Does anyone feel like they don't belong where they are? Yeah, I think I you're know. confident. I'm, just, I'm I think this is better. Two, Let's move I think, I'm, no, think really, I'm number yeah. two. We'll, I we'll agree with that. Yo, I feel like he's pushing himself down so much, and then he's going to be fine. You know what I mean? Beer for the sub. Caleb for the three inch bets. Two inch is probably in deep thought right now. Is two inch even here? He is. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's look good. I think this. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I like this. I like this. I'm a surgical nurse. Trust me, there's worse stuff than cleaning a dick. Yeah, probably like poop. What would be worse than that? Like a prolapsed anus. Like that thing that Howie Mandel said. How do they fix that, right? You know the Howie Mandel video where he like, where he like showed that? Do they just like push that in? Just like back in? Like just like, just like, just like kind of wedge it back in there? You're locking it in? Yeah, we're, we're locking yeah, you it just in. Yeah, kind of like fucking, all right, all right, lay down. And then you get a doctor to just fucking like, just like press it back in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the worst thing you've ever said. Really? That's the worst thing I've ever said. The men will now get their soft length and circumference sizes measured. Any questions before we get started? Yo, they, how much do you think they pay in this man? He got sketchers on. How much do you think they pay in this man to measure this shit? No. Not okay. to do it. Yeah. Great. All right. Hands. Logan, feel free to go back there. Okay. Zero dollars. He asked to do it. He volunteered. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Me. Me. He's just some random guy on the street. He overhears a conversation. How are we going to find somebody to actually do this job? Me. Hey, I'll do it. No, 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 no. No, pick on me. I will do this job. I will do it. Okay. Unpaid. I'll pay you. He paid them to do it. JCW for the five gifted. Bro, thank you for the five gifted subs, bro. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the subs. Moment okay. of truth, my friend. Yeah. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Only okay, last a couple seconds. You'll be all right. Man. Oh, God. This must be so <laughs> weird. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so quiet, too. They can at least play some music. He said, awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> imagine being, imagine it's just the intern at Jubilee. You're just a college student. You're just a senior in college that's just trying to get a job with a media company. All right, this is going to be your task for today. You're going to need to put on these gloves, and here's a measuring tape. Okay. The medical professionals will now measure the man's... Ugh. But how are they... Okay, thank you. How do they... How do they... How do they get it up? Why did they go into a closed door and they didn't show who it was? I'm going to look in the comments. It's just all about self-selection bias. So I'm guessing that none of them are that small. How do you get how do you get rearranged by three different categories? We're going to start with the ranking for the soft length sizes. So seventh, Andy. Sixth, Asher. Number two, I told you. <laughs> Fifth. Baron. Fourth, Giovanni. Okay. Ooh, all right. Come on. You. <laughs> Third, Tanner. We knew this was coming. Yeah. Bro, bro got a bro got a fucking tree stump. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. They gotta measure three different things because it could be <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Yo, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. David? God, yes. First, oh, he really shot Jesse. it there. Oh, yeah. That's about me. We, yeah. we knew. Oh, who would have guessed it? The most confident guy in the room. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Starting with Andy, can you share your soft length size? Oh, God. Uh, 2.5? Uh, 3.2. 3.5. 4. Also 4. 4.5. 12.5. Okay. I'm just, my man over here, I'm just highly impressed right no. now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. All right, so they're all growers. It's. I'm assuming. I'm not going to say, for that. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I kind of saw that coming. I was just like. Because well, he's tall, man. I, nah. I was thinking. All right, we're going to move on to what we've all been waiting for, the hard length sizes. In seventh, Andy. In sixth, Baron. Oh. All right. I told you. Growers. <laughs> In fifth, David. Ooh. I told you. What? Yo, he actually got the tree stump, though. Nah. All right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Nah, that's fucking whack. Nah, that's fucking whack. Bro, that's actually nuts. <laughs> For God. Oh. That's it. I told you. In <laughs> fourth, Asher? NBC. <laughs> In third, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. In second, Tanner. Oh, I said the sleeper build was going to be number one. And in first, Jesse. But we knew this. Yeah. He was number one in literally every single one. Oh, from the beginning. We've seen this coming. We it was party. wrong just about you. The rest was exactly. Mr. Big Dick Energy. Oh, he literally did say that. He only he only had a swap. Yeah, no, it was one, two. He, they had a swap. Oh, and they had a swap. So he was wrong about two, actually. Handy, can you start with your hard length size? Four We're gonna whip out the paper. We are going to hand you a cucumber. Oh no! No! See, that's no, that's see more. No, that's that's degrading. That's degrading. They're going to hand him a cucumber. They're going to hand him a cucumber, and they're going to hand this man, Jesse, a fucking eggplant at the fucking end of it. They're going to hand this man, Jesse, a fucking full-on watermelon at the end of this fucking thing. All right. Now, nah, that's fucked up. Now, nah, that's literally fucked up, bro. They have to fucking visualize it. Now, nah, that's, that's actually whack. That is cut to your size. <laughs> <laughs> Can, a nice can you hold it up? It's a beautiful p***. <laughs> <laughs> right, six. That's for me. <laughs> um. And then six. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> six point three. Nice and thick. A little sword. A cucumber <laughs> fight. Sure <laughs> <Sword> breaks. <laughs> <laughs> six point five. Wow. Damn. Stop thinking about it. Seven. Oh my God. You, you already know Jesse's about to say, yeah, 13 2. <laughs> you fucking. So, I, they, they, they got to fucking waddle that thing over. Yeah, 13 2. They're going to fucking waddle the watermelon over for him. Right. <laughs> you are Eight. Damn. Wow. Eight. You guys got point. Wow. Like, oh, baby. <laughs> okay. okay. How does everyone feel now? Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm, still I'm happy. Confident. Yeah, I'm fresh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just ate it. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna I'm say though, props to Andy for popping out. You know, like I I feel like this is this is biased to the at like obviously if this is the average, they should have had more people that were lower. But most people would not accept being on this show if they were lower, right? So W Andy for for seeing that it's not that big of a fucking deal and popping out to the show because yeah, now now I now I feel bad, bro, because he's the only one that actually agreed to do it that was under because all these guys were like, Oh yeah, so it's like it can't be that bad if they're above average. But like, you know, W Andy, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my short king a dub. I, I'm not going to say anything else. And let's do a quick circumference size rearrangement. Circumference size. Six 
inches in circumference. Hold up. I have a, t I have a fucking tape measure somewhere. Bro, I, bro, when I heard that, I was thinking like, I was thinking like, <laughs> when I heard, when I heard that, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. That's going to be like, oh, I was like, oh, that's not that. Yeah. No, I didn't. I, I was, I, okay. I don't know why I thought that would be like, okay. Yeah. That's not that nuts, but that's like, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. He going to have like some, wow. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> rank yourself see now that's weird that y'all are telling me to rank myself uh i yo i'm not even i'm not even talking about it i'm not even talking about it because that's actually just fucking weird if i talk about it now talking about them not with that it's on the borderline of like okay maybe i shouldn't talk about that yeah no all right yeah now we ain't talking about that that's just fucking whack ej for the sub <sighs> i mean all yo he was number one for literally all of them that is crazy. That's how you know it had to be him from off rip. He was that confident. Imagine though if he was like last. He was just slinging shit and he was dead last on all three. Big dick is a curse as well. Don't forget it. He's not wrong. Yeah. We were talking about the boyfriend dick. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, oh, is it? Do you guys feel like talking about size so? Yo, if I'm Andy, I'm going to tell them to shut the fuck up, though. No lie. No lie. It's it's actually a curse. Oh, if I'm Andy. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you guys feel like talking Mikey about... Mikey for the three inch bets. ...about size so openly has maybe relieved some pressure or taboo surrounding the subject? Yeah, because it's yeah. dumb. It's like just talking about it. It's like clearly no one actually cares. Like, I mean, and if there is any kind of actual care, like, it's... Like we all know, it doesn't matter. And, and and I will say, just the stupid stigma about oh, you gotta have big dick, wooty woo. As long as you know what you're doing, I think you're straight. You know what I mean? So that motion in the ocean, like this. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Cheers. 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 That actually did have like a wholesome ending to like relieve insecurity. I'll like that video. That was a. That was a. I I, I think some of that video is actually educational to that to that degree. So that was a dab. All right. Crucible said it's crazy how I'm in first. Bro, please shut up. Oh, my God. All right, hold on. Uh, we're going to play this song. I got to pee. Count me down 30 seconds, chat. next video not gonna hit a blinker either vexed for the sub istg for the sub as well i just had a post on tiktok too um all right hold up let me make sure the video posted oh yeah it did
All right, there we go. All right. Let's start it up. Next video. The viral, the viral Kanye West clone theory explained. Just hit a blinker now. My God, do y'all really just want me to... Hit, uh, I'm not going to hit a blinker, but do y'all really want me to hit the fucking cart right now? Like, oh my God. Y'all really bugging about this. It's Eli for the three bits. I got to go do some shit before work. I'll be back tomorrow for Contraband Police. All right, Dub. I'll see you then. Uh, and thank you for the gifted again, bro. Somebody said do a line. No. I'll play, I'll play a quick reggae segment while I hit this for like literally three seconds. I'm also on an empty stomach, so this might be disastrous, but who gives a fuck? Where's Kingston Town? Let me play that shit. Some man have no man still a try fi beg a thing. If you no drop no green, I straight up this thing thing. On a bun traffic, it's a slow rhythm. JCF a move rough, them bust the M16. Some man a drive up and down, them a the latest thing. Ah, damn, okay. <coughs> I haven't hit the cart in two weeks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <coughs> Did I? Oh my god, I literally haven't hit the cart in two weeks. Holy shit. Uh, Alright, there we go. We're good. All right, let's start up. <coughs> let's start up the next video here. Uh, somebody said Joe literally promoting smoking on Twitch. L, uh, I'm not promoting smoking. By the way, you don't have to watch me, bro. Um, I've always said unless you are 21 and it is legal in your state, you should not smoke marijuana. Uh, I've actively said that I do not smoke every day, and I don't think you should do it. It is more of an occasion-based thing because there are health negativities to smoking. But, um, yeah, no, I'm not promoting it, uh, at all. Uh, I, I never, I never advocated for its usage. Somebody said, I want to watch Sorry. Okay, well then stop ta calling me a fucking L. It is, it is within TOS. It's legal in New Jersey. I'm 21. I'm allowed to smoke weed. I don't do it often on stream. I haven't done it in about three fucking weeks, okay? So... You sitting here and being like, oh, he's promoting it. You're an L chatter. I'm letting you know. Uh, I appreciate you watching me, uh, but I've always said, uh, especially whenever I do hit a cart, uh, I do think weed is less uh, detrimental than alcohol, but I am not sitting here saying, oh, weed is like perfectly healthy and safe. No, there are health negatives, uh, especially to smoking. Not as much edibles, but um, I'm not promoting it, and I'm definitely not promoting it if you are not of age to do it. Uh, so you sitting there claiming that I'm doing something that I'm not uh, is really fucking annoying, right? Uh, so, yeah, sorry. Uh, but for anybody that's sitting here thinking I'm promoting it, uh, I'm not. If you do smoke weed, uh, you should be 21, and uh, it, it should be legal for you to do it. Uh, I've said that every time, uh, but outside of that, that's all I can really say. Squid for the sub, JCW for the three-inch bets. If you're wondering the legend, Sir JCW, I'm not reading that. That's so fucking weird that you would even type that, dude. Uh, Lico for the sub. Uh, JCW, if you're not joking, bro, I might I might time you out for, like, a few weeks for, for typing that. Bro actually just sent his size in chat. That's fucking whack. All right. Uh, what did he say? He sent his size. That's weird. Uh, especially seeing that I don't know how old you are, and you should not be even talking about that in a Twitch chat. Uh, it's okay that we watched the video, but that's when I was like, oh, when people were asking me, I was like, that's weird, right? No. Uh, somebody redeemed Flex. Anyways, uh, he said I'm joking. Okay, good. Yeah, please don't make uh, a borderline joke as that. Anyways, can we go on to the next video? Somebody said the smoking's kicking in. Uh, sorry, Joe, I can't fall asleep being an L chatter. You're not, dude, you were an L chatter in that moment. Right? I'm not saying you're an L chatter all around, but uh, I'm not promoting weed, right? I'm not promoting smoking. I do talk about how I smoke weed and I do get high like two days a week, but 
I'm not sitting here like, oh, it's perfectly safe. Like, I admit there are health issues with it. Inhaling any smoke is a carcinogen. It can increase your risk of cancer. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not promoting it. That, that'd be like me saying, that'd be like you saying when I drink a high noon, I'm promoting people drinking and driving. I'm promoting drinking. I'm not. Nobody says it when I drink, though. See, that's, that's where the stipulation is that I never get. When I have a drink on stream or I take a shot on stream, not a fucking word, right? But when I, when, whenever there's a weed involved, there's a few people that are like, oh, oh, you're promoting, oh my God, you're promoting hard drugs. Number one, I'm not promoting it. Number two, it's not a fucking hard drug, right? I'm still saying, yeah, you shouldn't do it if it's not legal for you to do it. But like the fuck? Somebody just pinned Joe's fat and ugly. Yeah, I'm not fat. You can say the ugly thing's more subjective. Sell out for the sub, Skyo for the sub. But he said I'm fat. Fuck you. I'm not fat. All right. Back to the video. The or We haven't even started it yet. Lock in, chat, by the way. The viral Kanye West clone theory explained. I'm going to turn it down a bit. I'm, I'm anticipating that it's going to be loud. Has Kanye West been? And it was. Cloned. There have been various people coming out claiming that Kanye West may have been cloned. He is not cloned. He was not cloned. It was a personality change. People change. Things change. And what seems to be obviously ridiculous claims may have more substance to them than you would expect. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube document. Okay, cool. A formerly known as Kanye West being cloned. It's the 3rd of October 2022, and Kanye West caused public outrage on social media by wearing a t-shirt stating White Lives Matter. Whilst already looking down the barrel of cancel culture's gun, Ye would post a tweet that would change everything for him. You know, that was whack, but then he, that's when he, he took the downturn when he started getting anti-Semitic, right? When he started ranting about how, like, 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 the fucking shit that went on in World War II wasn't bad or some shit. I'm like, yeah, that's when he took the downturn, right? Of being, like, really bad on social media. He's literally bipolar. He's also bipolar. Yeah, but was he ever anti-Semitic in the past? That's what I'm saying. I understand he's bipolar. He goes in these, like, swings and stuff. But is this TOS? This is not TOS. I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. The funny thing is, I can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew. Also, you guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who opposes your agenda. DEFCON being a state of defense, Ye was announcing that he'd be putting his defense up against Jewish people in the music industry. Obviously, this tweet would be met by widespread outrage. Following the controversial tweet, Ye would have his JP Morgan Chase bank account locked and would simultaneously be suspended from both Twitter and Instagram. Ye would respond to- uh bank can deny you service because they don't like you? I never... I knew social medias could ban you. Did he get his bank suspended because he didn't have money? There's no way, because he's a fucking billionaire. The situation on the 12th of October, stating, quote, If you call somebody out for bad business, that means you're being anti-Semitic. I feel happy to have crossed the line of that oh, idea. Oh, he might have said something anti-Semitic to the bank people. So we can openly speak about things, like getting cancelled by a bank. Throughout the following wow, weeks... Wow, he really did get banned from a bank. That is fucking crazy. I never would have guessed that a bank could just be like, no, we're not going to take your money. Ye would become banned and blacklisted from almost all businesses and brands he once associated with, including his billion dollar partnership with Adidas. Wow. On the 21st of October- Why do you call it Ad Adidas? Do you guys- I know that's the right way to say it. Do you guys say Adidas? I say Adidas. Adidas. That's the right way to say it. But I've never said it that way. Yes, I feel like most people say Adidas, not Adidas. But Adidas is the right way. Isn't it an acronym? Or something. I thought it was an acronym. It is? Of what? All day I dream about sports. I don't think that's what it is. Ad Adidas, written Adidas, is an abbreviation of the name of the founder, Adolf Dazzler. Who the fuck told me that Adidas meant fucking uh, always doing sports or some shit? What the fuck? 
so uh, always dreaming uh, about doing sports. Adidas. Adolf Dazzler. Buddy's last name was Dazzler. I'm going to Google him. He's a German inventor. When did he fucking die? He lived he was he lived from 1937 to 1978. Damn, he got named Adolf right before it was bad to be named Adolf. That sucks. 2022, a clip would surface of ex-Disney actor Orlando Brown stating that there are two Kanye's, a small Kanye and a tall Kanye. Do you guys actually realize like like how there's a taller Kanye and a smaller Kanye, taller Kanye and a smaller, they're fighting for who's gonna be Kanye. They're fighting for who's gonna be Kanye, dude, right in front of but you. But I thought bipolar disorder is a mood thing, not a personality change. Isn't that like a split personality disorder? That's its own thing, right? That wouldn't start that what he's describing is like split personality or um, some f higher form of bipolarism. Bipolarism, is that the right word? What I'm saying though is like that doesn't allude to a fucking clone. <laughs> that's, that's just saying that he has either split personality or he's bipolar. That's not saying, oh yeah, there's a robot clone of Kanye West that is anti Semitic, right? Like, that's almost, I would say that's more unlikely than, like, most other whack-ass conspiracies. A clone of Kanye West that is anti-Semitic. Wow, that makes no fucking sense. You. I, like I don't think anybody believes this. I think this is some fucking whack-ass conspiracy no one genuinely thinks is, like, true. Yo, bro, leave my fuck brother alone it was just like a nutty yeah. professor type of situation that's stupid bro you see kanye six feet tall and then you see him small you better catch catch the small and give him a hug man because he's been through a lot of shit to be in that body he was just trying to eat that day <laughs> he was he finally got his shit back and that's what con the real kanye be in a real fucking place chilling eating no security that's kanye Whilst many who saw it ruled it out as being absurd or for a That would have to be split personality disorder, right? Like, if you're genuinely changing, like, he's saying, like, changing, not just moods, but, like, personalities. This Joe's high. Oh, yeah, no, I'm high now. Oh, I'm high now. Yeah, it's getting... Nah, but I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Uh, rap for the sub, Donnie for the three inch Orlando Brown was arrested a few months ago, a few towns away from me. For what? Is Orlando Brown the football player that got naked in a water park? Who, who, do y'all know what I'm talking about? What, it was a football player. Is Orla yeah, I think it might have been Orlando, no, it wasn't Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown or Orlando Brown Jr. Wait, you're talking about Orlando Brown, Orlando Brown. Oh my god, I'm thinking of Antonio Brown. But Orlando Brown Jr. is also a football player. Orlando Brown Jr. is a fucking football uh, player for the Cincinnati Bengals. Bro, why the fuck? Okay, Antonio Brown got naked in a water park. Am I wrong? I feel like I saw... I might be from an alternate universe. I feel like he got naked in a water park. Naked in water park. Joe's too high. I'm not too high. Shut up. Oh, it was a hotel. I thought it was a water park. All right, let's move on. Clip is an important clip to remember. That's high thoughts. Yeah, I just get even more off topic for later in this video. Six days later on the 27th of October, Elon Musk would finally take ownership of Twitter. And within just two days, he would unban- Wait, when did he start Twitter? Oh, uh, or, or not start Twitter. Own Twitter? 2022. October. Uh, Elon I thought it was longer than that. Oh, wasn't it? He was beca it was because he was in the talks of buying Twitter for like all of fucking 2022. 
Musk would finally take ownership of Twitter, and within just two days, he would unban Kanye West. Things would take a dark turn, when on the 4th of November, Ye would share a screenshot of an ominous and threatening message that he received from his ex-personal trainer, Harley Pasnak, with the message reading, I'm going to help you one of a couple ways. First, you and I sit down and have a loving and open conversation, but don't use cuss words and everything that is discussed is based in fact, and not some crazy stuff that dumb friend of yours told you or you saw in a tweet. Second option, I have you institutionalized again, where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Playdates with the kids just won't be the same. Whilst the message on a surface level already seems quite disturbing, there is an even more dark backstory behind it. Harley Pasnak is a Hollywood personal trainer who has worked with several celebrities who have unfortunately died from overdoses or publicly had mental breakdowns. People like Mac Miller, Amy White- Wait, did he send this to his fucking, uh, therapist or his therapist sent it to him? from over or is this like his psychiatrist nurses or publicly had mental breakdowns people like mac miller amy winehouse his therapist sent that to him isn't that a fucking crime seems quite disturbing that's a threat trainer who is ali pasnak is a hollywood person disturbing. where the fuck where is right here help you one of two ways i see you that have a loving conversation I institutionalize you again, and they medicate the crap out of you, and you go back to zombie land forever. That is fucking insane. Take the crap out of you, and you go back to zombie land forever. Is that was that a real fucking message though? Trainer who has worked with several celebrities who have unfortunately died from overdoses or publicly. Oh, Verba said, "What's your thoughts on Delta Eight? That's just whack." I've had I've had a Delta Eight edible before. And I had a Delta 8 cart before. Or my friend had a Delta 8 cart. I had Delta 8 edibles. Delta 8 edibles are way weaker. And the cart just tasted, like, wrong. <laughs> like, off. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I said that, not Verbus. Oh, I thought you said it. Or I thought Verbus said it. Jesus Christ. Holy fucking shit. Yo, lock in Joe Bart. Focus up. Hit the cart too much. Lock in. Not speaking. Fuck. There we go. 32 for the sub. Jesus Christ. It's Friday, Joe. I'm not gone, chat. Shut up. Had mental breakdowns. I was trying to understand whether or not he... Uh, the reason I was fucking so confused was because I didn't know if he sent that to his therapist because they were just ranting about how he's bad, but now they're on this guy. Winehouse and Alan Page, just to name a few. In the past, Harley worked in the military, where he would conduct research on experimental drugs. Right, right. Okay. So working for the military... I wasn't governed by the same laws that the typical person was, so I could look at the impact of certain drugs that are not that are not everyday. Let's go back to 2016. But why would any of these people even have him as their psychiatrist if he's like notably bad? Kanye would go on a rant mid-performance stating that society was being lied to by the music industry and big tech, following it up by stating that he was risking his career and life by talking about it to everyone. I am putting my career, my life... My he's a personal trainer, but he's also a fucking psychiatrist. That's I thought he was a psychiatrist for the military because he said he had access to more meds. Tax write-offs? Why the fuck would that be a tax? What do you mean tax write-offs? I would have him as my personal trainer because of tax write-offs. You could you could write that off for taxes for fucking anyone. Not just him. Public well standing at risk when I talk to y'all like this. This is a moment in the matrix, bro. Following this, Ye would go to Harley Pasnak's house, where he would be detained and hospitalized at UCLA Medical Center. This morning, new details are emerging about Kanye West's alleged mental state as he was rushed to the hospital. Heard on this fire department dispatch call obtained by TMZ. Rescue 41, psychiatric emergency, Moral Avenue. The 911 call came in around 1.20 p.m. on Monday after West was reportedly acting erratically. Paramedics and the Los Angeles Fire Department rushed to the Hollywood home of his personal How long ago was this, though? Like, that looks like fucking 2010s. Like, that is, that is like, younger Kanye. That's Kanye 2. You think this is the, like, this is the second Kanye, the bad one, and then there's a good Kanye. That, like, where are we getting to the clone theory? We haven't even gotten to the clone theory yet. I'm halfway into the fucking video. 2016? That looks longer, that looks like way, he looks way younger than fucking 2016 Kanye.
That or Kanye aged terribly recently. Probably the second half. All right. There is no good Kanye. Well, there's, I'm saying there's not two different Kanye Wests. There's one person. Fire department rushed to the Hollywood home of his personal trainer, where according to TMZ, officials spoke with West for 90 minutes before following protocol for a psychiatric patient, restraining him and taking him to UCLA Medical Center for an evaluation. And it was here where Kanye West would be supposedly diagnosed with bipolar disorder and turned into a quote zombie, with these haunting photos being released showing a shallow, exhausted looking Ye. Following the hospitalization, Ye was working on an album called TurboGrafx-16, a retro video game themed album where he would- I thought he got diagnosed bipolar so long ago. I didn't think that was 2016. Like that wasn't that long ago. Isaiah for the thousand biddies. Hey Joe, been a, uh, been a while since I've been in stream. Sorry about that. Glad to be back. Bro, you don't have to apologize for not being in stream. People have their own lives. People got to do shit. I get it. Uh, it's up to you. It's entirely optional uh, when you show up. You know what I mean? Isaiah for the sub, but I'm glad you're back. Thank you for the for the th thousand biddies, Isaiah. Uh, and I Isaiah also spelled differently. I-Z-A-Y. Thank you for the sub. Uh, I love Kanye for the 300 bits. Says, I love Kanye and Joe's content. But don't condone either of their, their, oh my god. Don't condone either of their behaviors. Fuck. JCW from 3 bits. Now try to say the ABCs from D to S. D-E-F-G-H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P. Like, bro, that's not hard. Donnie from 3 bits. Orlando Brown was arrested a few months ago near town. Yeah, I just read that one. But why did he get arrested? You still never answered that. Caught a draft for a song called UCLA. You didn't go to S. P is right before S. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Q, R, S. Fuck. Fuck. Play, where during the song, he would recall his experience in the institution with a song quoting, Take your meds, yay. Take your meds, yay. Take your meds, yay. Take your meds, Ye. You need some NyQuil. During November of 2022, Ye would start announcing his run for presidency in 2024. Oh my god, I remember that. The 2020 president, Kanye. And there was that picture of him at a fucking round table alone when the election just ended. And he had like 10,000 votes. Working with Nick Fuentes, one of the most cringe and hated people on the internet, the debacle would be so unreal and lead people to believe there was something more sinister happening behind the scenes, such as Ye being manipulated, or worse, that it was not even Ye to begin with. These rumors would be further fueled on the 2nd of December- Did you vote for him? No, I did not vote for Kanye West. Bro, no what? Like, I don't understand how he ever thought there would have been a chance of winning, right? Like, maybe possibly winning, like, a county of people that all came together and they're like, oh, we're going to vote for Kanye. But, like, you're not going to win the fucking presidency when you did campaign. 2022, when Ye... Even if he did campaign, if it, it, you're not going to win the presidency if you're not a part of the Democratic or the Republic primary nomination, right? Like, if you're the Green Party, you're not going to win. Like, unless the country changes somehow, it's the Democrat and, and Republican nominees that are the people that are only capable of winning. Everybody else, they might get a million votes, right? But they're not going to win. Priestess cryptic. Boom back for the 20 gifted subs. Fuck. Thank you for the fucking subs, Bobat. Thank them if you got a sub. And thank you for the fucking 20 gifted. How many subs do you have total, Bobat? 470. God damn. 470 subs total. Thank you for the 20 gifted today. Uh, wet talk for the three inch biddies. Sup, I love your content. Thank you, Van, for the three inch bets. First time sharing. Uh, I would love it if you react to Delore TTS comp. Send it in the video suggestion tab. Uh, I don't have any more videos that I can watch today because we got a bunch we got to get through. Donnie for the three inch bets. Orlando Brown had an aggravated menacing, had an aggravated menacing, a first degree minor misdemeanor. Hold on. Am I not reading this right? Orlando Brown had an aggravated menacing, a first-degree misdemeanor. His mugshot is whack. What is an aggravated menacing? Is that a crime? That's a threat? Aggravated menacing.
in an aggravated menacing case, a defendant knowingly causes... Hold up. A defendant knowingly causes another person to believe the defendant would cause serious physical harm to that person, property, unborn child, or immediate family. So it's a threat. Why wouldn't they just call it a threat? I'm up for the 300 bits. Uh, first time watching you live on Twitch, but I've watched you loads on YouTube. Uh, love your content. Thank you. Tweet, yay24, love everyone, hashtag love speech. Whilst many assumed the symbol was a swastika with a star of David around it, the symbol was actually directly from a UFO religion named Realism. But what is Realism? Well, let me introduce you to our channel friend Tuv, who has come on to explain it. Realism was founded in the 1970s by a man named Claude Vorilon, or as he likes to be called, Rael. This unique religion is based on the idea that life on Earth was created by a group of extraterrestrial beings who visited our planet a long time ago. But who are these extraterrestrial beings? Well, the Raelians refer to them as Elohim. They believe that the Elohim are still watching over us and guiding us to a better future. According to Raelism, the Elohim are responsible for many of the miracles and unexplained events that happen in the world. But how Wait, why is everybody saying W Tub? Do y'all watch him? I've never heard of him. I've literally never heard of Tav. I mean, he sounds like a good commentator, though. That relates to the video. Well, that would be because one of the most fascinating aspects of realism is its support for human cloning. Yeah, human cloning. Raelians believe that cloning can help us achieve eternal life by creating a new, almost identical body for our consciousness to inhabit to create a form of eternal life, and Kanye posting this symbol seems incredibly suspicious, especially considering what would happen next. So that's why people think he's a clone? is because of the realism or realism. On the 7th of December, Kanye would release a song to Instagram with the caption, Sensory Overload. Waking up to I can't do this anymore. So fucking loud. And the Bible said I can't have any more sex to marriage. No dream to Paris. The meek should flourish. Within hours, Instagram would delete the posts and once again suspend Ye from posting. And this is when things would change. This is when Ye would officially disappear. Well, that's what everyone thought. Entering 2023, images would surface of Ye and his new fiance, Bianca Sensory, where people would begin noticing that Ye was dramatically taller than Bianca, and with Bianca's height being allegedly 5 foot 9, and Ye's height being allegedly 5 foot 8, it was beginning- Oh, fuck! So it's actually a height thing. Orlando Brown wasn't just saying, oh, if you see, like, little Kanye, I thought he meant personality-wise. Thing to seem like Orlando Brown's theory of the tall yay and short yay was coming into fruition. This was up until it was corrected that Bianca's height was actually closer to five foot four, revealing. We could have just fucking said that from the start of the goddamn video, the f the fucking first ten seconds into the clip. He could have said, "All right, people think Kanye's a clone." Because his girlfriend was allegedly 5'9 and he's 5'8. But actually, she's just 5'4. Video end. Explain why Ye towers over her. I thought people were going to be like, oh, he's a clone because of all these, like, eye differentiations and then how he talks in one clip and the... I thought they were going to be comparative. But it's just, oh, he was taller than they thought he was. So this leaves us with one question. Did Kanye West get cloned? Well, it's highly unlikely. And most of the theories being extremely made- Extremely unlikely. Not high- Extremely unlikely. One in a trillion chance that Kanye West has a clone. For him being cloned, are relatively easy to disprove with a little more research. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit subscribe as I- It was still entertaining. Uh, but, bro, that could have been way shorter. All right, the seven levels of high. Um, uh, I'm up for the three Japanese. I think I already read yours. All right. Now we're back into this video. Uh, seven levels of high. Then we have, this is actually scary. A penguins video about AI, the Mr. Beast video, stupid holidays, zero to a hundred years in USA. We can actually slide this one up. All right. The seven, and now we'll leave that at the end because it's a short video. Seven levels of high lock in. I love this video. I've yet to see it. So there are seven levels of being high that you may experience while smoking. And although no two people will have the exact same experience from weed, nine, 
Okay, well, there's apparently only seven levels, so I could be on fucking level nine. I'm assuming past level five is incoherent, right? Incapable of speaking. I'm, I'm flowing my words fucking perfectly, right? I'm maybe about, yay, level two. Level three at max. The motherfuckers in my chat saying, bro, you're fucking fried, Joe. I hit the cart twice. I hit the cart twice, right? Oh, no, but you're fucking fried. No, I'm not. I'm, like, not. Yeah, maybe level two. Maybe a little toasted. To give you a general idea of what to expect. For level one, we have toasted. You'll be... Like, y'all bro, dead ass. Yeah, lightly toasted. You'll be feeling like a warm sourdough roll. At this level, yeah. you'll... Yeah. That's it. still be able to function normally, but you'll just be a little bit more giggly, and you'll have a slight mind and body relaxation. This is the optimal level of high if you when need to do... When you're at work. Yeah. When I'm at work right now, because this is my fucking work. So at the, the, the nicest level to where I can fucking talk, right? Not Kai Sinat. Anybody remember when he ate like a 500 milligram edible on stream and then was like, like fucking sitting there like twitching out? Yeah, that's like level six. Do normal person stuff, but you want to- If you're going to stream, if, if I'm going to stream high, I can't be past level two. Level, level two, maybe level three. I mean, we'll see how he defines it. But if I was at like level four chat, that's when you would hear me be like, all right, guys, I'm too high. I got to end stream. Like, that would, that would be like when I'm done. Slight mood boost. For level two, we have baked. You are officially high, but it's not affecting you too much. At this level, objects start to seem more significant. Yeah, I don't really know how to put it any other way than that, but I mean, look, look at that object. That is not how ob That's They don't look... That's that. This is a bad... This is a bad photo reference. No matter how high you get... The hammer will never look like that when you're high. You will just care more about the hammer. That's mentally, the hammer is cooler than it previously was. It looks exactly the same. Nothing's changed. Tell me that doesn't look more significant. Thoughts become more random, but you can kind of wrangle them back in and stop your mind from wandering too far. This is a good socially functional level of high. If you're with people and you don't want shit to get weird, stay around this level. For level three, we have roasted. All mental faculties now require more focus and energy. At this point, your internal monologue starts to get louder. You know how you just heard your own voice in your head reading those words? Well, when you're sober, you think your thoughts quietly, if that makes sense. But when you're roasted, you think your thoughts louder. Also, at this point, sentences are very difficult to form and require expert- Nah, I wouldn't say that's level three. Level three, it's hard to form a sentence. I would say maybe level four. Planning and precision to execute. Next up, we have level four sauteed sentences are that's when i'm like when it's like hard to form words is when like i'll stare in front of my microwave and like not walk away like you know when you heat something up you go do another task like if i'm if i'm high like like pretty high i won't leave <laughs> like i'll heat up something for two minutes and just watch it the entire time i will do nothing else normally like say i'm heating up dinner or some shit i'll go grab water i'll go pee i'll get my utensils i'll like set up my dinner bro i'll stand there i do that sober dude i could never that only time i'll ever stand in front of a microwave for two minutes is if i'm high that like i bro you stand sober you stand in front of a fucking microwave just high or not high just perfectly fine I would be so bored. I would watch. It would, it would be the slowest two minutes of my life. Jesus. Relics of the past. It now requires all of your energy just to form words. Wuh. Wuh. That's right. Sound it out, buddy. Wuh. Water. This is the point where you put something in the... Oh, my. I swear, I've never seen this video. I've never seen this video. I've never seen this video. Microwave for five minutes, and you stand there watching your- Five minutes? Okay, that's too much. What the fuck are you putting in a microwave for five minutes? 
maybe two. That is the most, the most I will ever heat something up is two and a half minutes. Cotton mouth goes crazy. Yeah, that's when that starts is like level four. Nah, maybe level three. You get thirsty. Your mouth is dry here. You're heating up, you're heating up a, a fucking whole ass like frozen pizza, like a mini personal pizza. That, yeah, it's too, you're too lazy to throw it in the oven. You cut it up, microwave it like a fucking Hot Pocket. That's when I'll eat a Hot Pocket, even though I don't fucking like Hot Pockets. That's when I'll eat a Hot Pocket. Somebody said pre-watched as always. Yo, that's so facts. I waste my entire day pre-watching the videos. I watch every Food single for the every single React video I've ever watched yet. Yeah, I just fucking, I re-watch it four times and I write down my jokes. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking dumbass. If I pre-watched the video and could write down the jokes, there's no point in me fucking streaming. They're joking? No, because there are some people that, I mean, he might be joking. There are some people that actually think I pre-watch my videos. It's like five people, but I see their comments. They're very persistent, okay? They're the person that fucking, that spams that comment on every one of my videos. Oh, this sounds pre-watched. That, that joke was too good. Dude, it's a 30-minute fucking Darman video. It's a 30-minute Darman video. Yeah, one joke's gonna be perfectly timed. That's how it works. This is a video about being high, and I'm high. I could obviously guess what he's gonna say. Fuck! Joe overreacting again. Buddy, I overreact every goddamn stream I've ever done. The entire time. Dude, can you turn the fucking microwave off? Yeah, they really should have like a midnight stoner mode for microwaves. Level 5 is known as stony baloneyed. This is when paranoia starts to set in. If you're with other people... Nah, that ain't paranoia. That would be like... That would be like when I go quiet, right? When I stop talking, I'm too high. If I'm like... If I'm like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I don't say anything, that I'm too high. Like, it, to the point where I'd rather sit there in silence than speak. Or, or be spoken to. Yeah, that's when I'm going to slump at a couch. Void eye contact. You will get your soul stolen. This is also when you can nah, become... Paranoia is at like level six. Level six. That's when you, that's when you, that, that's when you start freaking out. Hyper analytic of every thought. Do you, you support the LGBTQ? Yes. LGBTQ. Mispronounced the Q there. Yes, I support the LGBTQ. Uh, killer for the sub. Landed for the sub. Sick for the 300 bitties. Thanks for making me cry and laugh. Keep up the good work. Dub. Uh, and I'm already read your bits. Have and every action you take. Am I walking funny? Joe, you didn't make the levels. I know, but I'm saying like, I'm basing it on like the disagreement of I'm perceiving these levels as being objective rather than his subjective level, seven levels of high. I'm saying, okay, if we're actually objectively dividing the seven levels of high, I would not say you're at level, you're, what is this, level four? Yeah, stony, oh no, level five. Level five is not paranoia. I would say it's one more. Is it weird to have the thought that I just had? Yo, I have to piss so fucking bad right now. I know we're mid-vid. I can't hold it. I can't hold it, chat. I gotta go. I gotta go to the fucking bathroom. Holy shit. Fucking hell. Tell me that. this shit let's lock back in here i feel so much better i feel so much fucking better in fact i'm gonna crack a fucking g fuel jesus
New flavor. New flavor. Gief. Gfuel.com. Exclamation point Gfuel. Code Joe B. 20% off. Another Naruto flavor here. What the fuck is it? Soda ice candy. I think the last one was like lemony. I remember saying it tasted like Sprite. Eight point seven. All right, uh, Isaiah for the th uh, the five hundred pennies. Real talk, we should go back to the vibe talks, but have them high and allow yourself to just ramble. Oh no, I'm gonna do that one day. I've done that before for like a high philosophy day, uh, but I think I've only done it once, uh, just because I've only been twenty one for like a month and a half. Team mood for the seven hundred pennies. What about that one? Or this one? Am I my thoughts, or am I the thing that is thinking the thoughts? Oh, <laughs> I'll have those thoughts sober. Uh, I think that, I think that's personality dependent. Some people only have, like, universal philosophical thoughts when they're high. But, like, I'm a philosophy and religion major in college. Like, all I do every day is, like, think, why the fuck do I exist? We're literally just meat sacks walking around on Earth with no definite meaning in a universe that makes absolutely no sense. Why the fuck? Like, I'll think about that and maybe every 30 minutes, every day, for the last, like, I don't know, maybe two years. And then, then it used to be like every other day. And then it was like less and less. Now it's every day. Every second of the day. Sneaky and Mr. Smooth, uh, Smoney for the sub. Weapon fringe bets. Have you been to level seven? I mean, we'll see what he says level seven is. Mr. Smoney for the sub. Team on for the sub. Weapon fringe bets. I'll describe, I'll describe the highest I've been. Do you guys want to hear the story of the highest I've ever been? I'll describe that when I'm when he gets to level seven. And I'll compare it. No, I'm me. You're you're just a thought. No. Why I'm are your chatters so mean? Because they love being meanies to me. They like being assholes. Actually, you. You you aren't you. It's me. This is also the point when I normally feel like I'm just a little goblin inside my own head, watching TV through my eyeballs. At level six, you have the kush coma right before yeah like you're you're just your personality that's what it feels like okay that's accurate when it's like you're on level five your personality is just housed in your brain right and your body isn't you right it's just your mind your body doesn't exist anymore you're just a mind in like a robot body that's like level five everything just seems like you're not really operating it you're kind of just like watching what's happening you're kind of like watching a TV screen of your life. That's literally what he said. Am I wrong? Oh, wait, no. He said he was somebody watching himself watch TV. No, you're watching a TV screen of your life. You have the Kush coma. Right before you enter a Kush coma, it can feel like your heart is about to beat out of your chest. At this stage, it's very common to experience weed paralysis, where you just kind of get so high that like you're you're stuck or you're you're frozen. I actually have a funny little story about this. One time my friend was throwing a party and uh, we went out to the park next to his house to smoke weed, but he said he was gonna take a few extra rips and that he would meet us back at his house in a few minutes, but he ended up getting too high and he just became frozen on that bench for like multiple hours. Like a <laughs> Multiple hours at your own house party, you're just missing? You're just fucking... You're just not there. You're in the middle of a fucking park. Everybody else is just at your house. You're just alone. You fucking hit the bong too much. Be honest, that's you. Dude, I just went and took a piss. If I was at this level, I wouldn't have gotten up. I wouldn't be speaking. Vin run for the 300 bets. I've reached every level. There, uh, There is one more beyond the last one few hours while well, the party just continued at his house he wasn't even there for his own party at some point he booted back up like a lagging 90s dell computer and he was good as new um but you know sometimes you just need like a few hours on a bench alone at night before like you're ready to go back to this a couple hours social situation so you know keep that in mind and last but not least is number seven the final form of every stoner the most sacred of all highs have you ever thought your brain is trapped in your skull no because that's a very dangerous thought to have 
Because if you thought your brain was trapped in your skull, you might be prompted to peel out your brain out of your skull, right? Like crack open your skull. Please don't think that your brain is trapped in your skull. That is a very dangerous thought to have. Zooted. You will be. Yeah, just dig it out, right? Like, oh, just get yeah, just get it, just dig it out, right? Get a shovel. Somebody said, stop being so fucking nerdy. Just watch the video. Yo, I will literally ban your cuck ass. Okay, buddy? You're a nerd. Joe is heartless. Why are you so nerdy and cringe? You're weak. Bro, I guarantee you the kid that is messaging this cannot even bench 135. And hey, I don't shame, I don't shame people for what they bench, but you're coming at me saying I'm nerdy as fuck and I'm weak and I'm cringy. Like, bro, I know damn well you're weaker than me. Like, no fucking, no fucking doubt, dude. Like, I bench 155. Good shit, buddy. I bench 285. And I weigh 170 fucking three pounds, pal. Oh, my God. I'm not saying I'm the strongest man in the world, but stop calling me fucking weak. You're weak. Shut up. Just watch the video. You can go watch the video yourself. If you don't want to fucking watch my goddamn reaction. Why are you watching me if you don't want to watch me talk about things? Yeah, I'm watching Joe Bart, but in reality, I hate Joe Bart in the corner. I just want to watch the video that's playing. Why the fuck would you ever watch me then? That makes absolutely no sense. It's like you're dealing with me in the corner, but in reality, you just want to watch the video that's playing. What? My God. I'm not actually mad. And I, yo, bro, 155, you're probably young. Most of my chatters are young. That's good shit, man. Well, you're, you're probably benching 135. You know, I'll give it a clap it up. I'll turn it back around with Humble Bart. But like, bro, stop, stop spamming that I'm weak and shit or I'm going to fucking go off. Damn. Feeling like a cryptocurrency, Fuck. man. Telepathy oh, is now activated. God, what is happening? Is Hold up. Bro said oopsie daisy. I have not heard somebody say oopsie daisy in so long. You're fried. You're level seven. This video is actually good. Oh, that's why you wanted to watch the video. Now I'm looking at your fucking chats. Bro is switching topic. Don't change the topic. Go back to school, dumbass. About school? When the fuck was I talking about school? Other than when I said I was a philosophy major. Anyways, I'm getting off topic now. Let's go back man telepathy is now Chat, can you not spam oopsie daisy now oh my fucking god can you guys not spam oopsie daisy please why am i asking my chat not to do something now they're just gonna fucking do it all right you see what you did iws you see what you did you see what you did iws now yeah see now my chat's fucked for the next 10 minutes right now until my chat forgets that they're typing oopsie daisy now they're just gonna keep fucking keep spamming that shit thank you thank you okay there we go what's well, technically my fault but who gives a fuck all right let's go on activated as you no longer require mouth noises to communicate this is where you start to experience frame rate drops in your vision your graphics card is overheated you can't even sustain 60 fps at this point this is when you eat a pizza roll and you feel every individual oh. muscle fiber of your esophagus expanding and contracting as it travels down your throat you're way past couch lock you and the couch are now merged with each other on a molecular level where do i end and the couch begins you ask the answer is yes well anyways the answer is yes that's it for today uh if you have any funny have i been at that level yeah maybe like three times bro i said the first time the first time i ever got high i ate two edibles and i thought i was in purgatory um not for the the first bit i'll do a quick rundown of the story for the people that haven't heard it but i have i have told this story before um, I was given a few edibles and said that this is what you should take. I didn't know any dosage results, uh, or like how much you should take. Uh, cause I, ne I'd never gotten high before. I'd never smoked. I never ate an edible. Uh, I'd never even seen an edible until the day that I ate them. Right. Um, and so I'm eating the edibles and we're watching the Lorax. Love the Lorax. <laughs> Love the Lorax. Anyways. Um, also, you guys could say hi, YouTube, if you want, because this might be a YouTube video. It'll probably get demonetized because I'm talking about being high and it's a video about being high, but who cares? Anyways, um, 
Yo, scammer gets scammed. I literally did that so y'all would stop saying oopsie daisy. Oh my god, get fucking ratioed. Get fucking ratioed, chat. Holy shit. Holy shit, I got y'all off saying fucking oopsie daisy. Abs absolute menace activity. Holy shit. Okay, it worked. Anyways. Anyways. Anyways, back to, back to the fucking story. Yeah, now y'all are gonna go back on your shit. Too bad I already fucking got you off of it, though. So you already failed. Anyways, yeah, now it's gonna go on for the rest of the fucking stream. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm watching the Lorax, right? And I'm eating sour... I love telling the story. I'm eating sour Mike and Ike's. And, um, right before I actually ate a bunch of these, like, uh, tomato basil crackers, I can never eat tomato basil crackers for the rest of my life because what happened sometime after this was horrific. We're like 30 minutes into the, into the movie, 45 minutes into the movie. I'm like, I'm not feeling shit to my friend, right? And I'm eating these fucking Mike and Ike's. And I bite into one shock of like f the sourness was in my mouth was in my entire body. In my I swear to God, the first time I ever got high, I have never felt that same feeling ever. Mike and Ike's are so underrated. Bro, the sour ones are so fucking fire. So fucking good, dude. Even the regular ones. Mike and Ike's are a top three candy. I will not even lie. Mike and Ike's are top three candy. Joe, look Joe, look up the CEO of Mike and Ike's. CEO of Mike and Ike is Sam Bourne. What about him? Oh, he's the creator. Do you see? You mean the CEO? Who is the CEO? It doesn't even show up. I didn't even say look up. What did you say? Oh, he looks like the CEO. Okay, I look like the creator of Mike and Ike's? Or the CEO? Because I can't even see... Bro, I don't look like this motherfucker. This guy can't read. I'm high. Fuck you. Bro, what are you saying? What are you saying? You're so white. Bro, you're so white. I'll laugh my ass off. Buddy, buddy, yo, I've been saying, bro, if you let, I popped into your stream one time, bro. You had a half smoking joint and you were fried out of your mind. If we went match for match, JoJo, you're not, you're not beating me. You're not beating me, right? We got to plan this out one day where we both eat a fucking like, I see, you know, and it's unfair if we, if we go match on edibles, right? Because you can just have a different smoking tolerance uh, or, or what weed you're smoking, right? But if we went match on edibles or something, I, I, I honestly think I'd stay on stream longer than you. Actually, no, probably not. Because you, you would go to almost the point where you can't even speak. I would probably dip earlier. You're telling me I look like this motherfucker? Yo, no lie though. Like if his face wasn't as like round, my eyes kind of look like his. It was a joke? Nah, but I kind of look like him. Yo, but you know who you look like? Bro, where's that one picture of Jack Black? This one. Oh my god, here he go. It's not here he go, this guy. Bro, you look like Jack Black. I'm out of here. No, but like... Bro, JoJo don't leave. JoJo don't leave. JoJo don't leave, bro. Nah, but like, it's just, it's because you have like, you have very dark hair, right? And he has very dark eyebrows. He's FaceTiming me. Hello? I told you to show my face on your stream with that thing of Jack Black up. And I want your chat to be completely honest if I look like Jack Black. Okay. Yeah. But like a little bit. If he if Jack Black had like a longer beard, they're saying yes. No, I no I don't. Yeah, you do though. No, I don't, bro. No, I don't. Your hair's curlier. 
But if Jack Black had curly hair, what? if Jack Black had curly hair, he would kind of look more like you. But Nacho Libre is Jack Black. No, no, no. Nacho Libre is a Spanish version of Jack Black. Yeah, but it's still Jack Black. It, it, it's Jack Black Spanish edition. Okay, that's true. But it is the same. All right, hold up. Let me. Uh, this weekend, this weekend, let's get high. This weekend, as in in the next two days. Yeah. Maybe Sunday. The Lord, all right. Now, don't bring that up. <laughs> I'm just saying for the Lord's Day, we're going to have a Lord's Day. Why not Saturday? Why not tomorrow? Because, bro, I'm playing contraband police tomorrow. That's the fucking best time to be high. Bro. Bro. What? That's, like, such a great time to be high. Are you kidding me? Have you played that game yet? I think I saw you play it. Yes. Oh, my God. It was so fun. I was being so racist. It was so great. What? You're being racist? Yeah, hold on, I was doing his voice. I was like, <clears throat> You better get out of my country, boy. I swear to God, I'll put you in your goddamn. Oh, no, I did the same thing. Right? Yeah, like a country accent. Like you're like like a southern police officer. Right, bro? And yeah. Then, yo, bro, that game is fucking great, bro. I'm going to play that Saturday, too. Oh, my God, bro. We should play it, like, not together, but, like, we are like, camp. But we should play shortly after we both play it. What? You're, you're saying, what do you mean play it shortly after we both play it? No, I'm sorry. We, we, we should play it together shortly after we both play that game and then get high. Or just get high and then play the game. Yeah. But then you could play it separate. Well, because you're, you're way behind I, where I am. I'm almost done. Weird champ, but okay. That is true. Yeah, because you're in like, you don't even have like the next cars. No, but I mean, I had a gun. I, yeah, I have, like, an AK-47. Uh -huh. Okay, weird champ, but... No, uh, we <laughs> Bro, saying we weird champ in conversation. Yeah, I did. I'm a Twitcher. You're a TikToker. Anyways, look, 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 look. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay? Hear me out. When are we... When are you gonna stop standing me up, buddy? When am I gonna stop what? Standing me up. I'm not standing you up. We don't plan anything out. You're... Okay, I'm a more scheduled streamer. You're kind of just like, hey, guys, I'm going live today. <laughs> kind of streamer you know what i mean like i'm like you can expect me to be live in this time window you're like all right i'm gonna go live this day this day and this day and then maybe this day and then the funniest part is is i'd be like Yo, i'm gonna go live today oopsies just kidding yeah and then you'll stream on four days you said you didn't you weren't gonna stream that is true there's been many times where i'm like yeah i'm gonna stream today and i'm like oops i meant stream today and there's been times i'm like yeah i'm streaming all week and, I, and i'm gone for a week so but that's like the beauty of Twitch, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd I be lying. See, like, Twitch streamers, like, because like, you're a Twitch streamer, but, like, you also be doing, like, like you're a proactive person. Twitch streamers are degenerate. Like. Yeah, I was saying, I think most average Twitch streamers do not have schedules. Yeah, like, for me, I go to the gym, like, I do a lot of other shit, and then I get to my stream, and I'm like, damn, I could stream, or I could just watch 15 episodes of One Piece. 15? Huh? You watch 15 episodes of One Piece in one day? Oh, no, I've been watching about 20 a day. What? Yeah, well, they're only like 20 like... minutes. Yeah. All right, we're not... I got to get back to stream. My chat's saying get back to the story. <laughs> You're good, bro. All right, I'll catch you, man. That's facts. Tuesday, the Tuesday poker streams are going to actually be insane. That's fact. That being said, stop standing me up. Let's do I'm not standing you up. You keep saying, oh, text me and we'll plan something out. Uh, who, me? Yeah, because I'm okay. I'm up for planning things. You're the one that's sporadic. Incoming dono wall. I'm not dono walling you. I'm saying, oh, bro, because you say I'm Incoming dubbing you, but then I have to make the plans. I, yo, he just, he hung up on me. Nah, nah, he hung up on me. Yo, that's actually fucking whack. That's actually fucking whack. No, bro. Nah, I'm texting him now. Nah, that actually pressed me. But he hung up on me. Bro hung up on me. Bro dono walled me. 
Bro, that is crazy. He hung up on me. He said, oopsies. Nah! Bro! My thingy slipped. Nah, that's fucking crazy. Oh, he really said oopsies. All right, where the fuck was I? I was telling a story about, oh my God. Oh, the first time, uh, the first time I ever got high. All right, where'd I leave off? I ate the Mike and Ikes. The sourness shocked through my body. That was when JoJo said the sour Mike and Ike shit and the Mike and Ike shit. And I was like, yeah, facts. Anyways, I ate the sour Mike and Ike. Sourness shoots through my body. Uncontrollable laughter for about 10 minutes, right? I'm like, wow, this is actually the weirdest thing ever. Weirdest thing I've ever felt. Anyways, I go and I lay in a bath, right? In like a bathing suit. And I'm laying in a bath, like a really warm bath. And I have like dim lights on. And I'm just kind of soaking. And I'm like starting to get to level six, right? First time I've ever gotten high. Starting to get to level six. I'm panicking. I'm like, I'm trying to relax. I'm feeling awful, right? I get out of the bath, second I stand up, wave of nausea, wave of nausea, lay down, was this told already? Yeah, but I'm telling it because it has to do with the, the seven levels of high video. I lay down, and the Lorax is still playing, while it's still playing, and I'm kind of bugging, and I'm also kind of slightly nauseous, and it's still hitting, and it's getting stronger, my boy goes, all right, I'm too high, I'm going to bed. And he took the same amount as me, right? But, like, uh, you told me I should take what you take. This is my first time ever getting high, so I'm going to get way more high than you. And you're cooked right now. This is going to be, this is making me even feel worse, right? So I lay back down, and the nausea just keeps getting worse, right? And this is my over be the course of, like, 5, 10 minutes. I feel awful, though. Like, I feel like it's been, like, an hour. And I sit back up. Somebody redeemed Dent. Jesus Christ. Motherfucker spamming about that more than anything. Anyways. um, uh, I start getting real nauseous. I sit up, right? And that's when I've made the body-to-mind agreement. And I've come, I've come to terms with the fact that I'm going to fucking vomit, right? You know how when you get nauseous and your mind is denying your body, right? And you're like, no, I'm going to suppress it. No, I'm not going to vomit. I'm not going to vomit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make myself feel better. And then there's that like momentary switch, right? Where you're so nauseous that your body can no longer fight it without like basically using the the willpower of fucking Zeus, right? So then you have to just completely switch from I don't want to vomit to okay, I really want to vomit. And that's when you've come to terms with the fact that you're going to fucking throw up, right? And at that point, I I I go I walk to the bathroom and I I tell my friend I'm like I'm going to throw up, right? I go to the bathroom. The driest vomit I have ever produced in my entire life. When I had the stomach virus the past, like, or like three weeks ago, I had it twice, right? Four weeks ago, I had it twice, right? I'm throwing up, and it's like wet, like, you know, you're digesting it. This vomit was like, 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 Oats crunched up, really dry oats, like sand almost, but it was food form, and, and it was so dry, it was like falling out of my out of my body rather than like regurgitating, like throwing up with like air or like water pressure, right? When you vomit, there's like water pressure, but when I was vomiting, it was just like falling out of my mouth, like like plopping, right? I'm sorry for the people that are eating. I'm sorry for the people that are eating right now. Anyways, 
y'all saying ill, but like, okay, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say y'all told me to tell this story, but nobody told me to tell this story. I'm just telling this fucking story. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, I'm throwing up, and the lights are making it so much worse that I'm like, all right, I gotta turn the lights off. And I turn the lights off, and I'm hovering over the toilet, and I'm, it's just pitch black, and I'm just throwing up, right? And I'm so high that like. My thoughts in my mind were like I was speaking them out loud. Like he was saying with like level four or five. And it was like all I could think was like, wow, I'm nothing right now. And I concluded that I was in purgatory for about five minutes. And then I started coming back out of it, right? But as I was coming back out of it, I was like, wow, this is the most humbling thing I've ever been through. <laughs> because I felt it was like, it was like, I felt awful. I felt fucking terrible in the pitch black. And then after that, I laid back down, fell asleep for like uh, 11 hours. And then for some reason, I decided to do it again. And then it was good, right? Because I was like, okay, I'll, I'll be able to channel how much I do. And now I've been to that level again. I've been to that level like multiple times where I'm like laying down schlumped. But I don't get nauseous anymore. Uh, but yeah, I don't condone this, by the way. I'm just telling this story. Monkey for the sub, Spence for the 300 bitties. Please watch Dr. No Sleep. Uh, send it in the video suggestion tab if you have any videos you want me to watch. Just because we already have a shitload of videos we still gotta watch. Um, try not to scream. Also, turn off your lights if you scream. You eat the one chip tomorrow deal. If you don't scream, I give you all bits. Yo, that was the worst message in terms of grammar I've read in a while. PLZ watch drive no sleep, trust me. Try to mow cream. Also, turn off ear lights. If you scream, you eat the one chip TMRW. Deal? If you don't scream, I jibe you all my bits. Somebody said proofread, but he's got to proofread the TTS. Don't know. JCW from 3 bits. But thank you for the bits, bro. Uh, Spence 26. Triple for the sub. I might watch that video. I don't know what you're talking about, though. Send it in uh, the suggestion tab. Vase and Lafayette for the sub. Ryan for the 3 bits. I wanted to remind you that you're manually blinking. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ryan from the Fringe Bits. That's not how it happened. You also missed my other bits. What do you mean that's not how it happened? Anyways, on to the next video. Manual breathing's worse. Okay, well now you just fucking reminded me that I'm manually breathing. Stop! Like, why? what does manually blinking mean? Instead of manually blinking and manually breathing means that you're no longer not thinking about it, right? When you're not when you're not thinking about breathing or blinking, you do both naturally and you never think about it. But then when you bring it up, now everybody has to fucking manually do it and they can't not they can't not do it normally and like without thought until they like distract themselves. Next video. This is actually scary by uh Charlie or Penguins. Today I want to show you something that will undoubtedly scare you. Have you trembling in fear, wetting your britches? And no, it's not a picture of me without a beard, but it is something equally as terrifying. What the fuck does he look like without a beard? What? Yo, this is him. Bro, he really gives... Yo, like, Charlie is really, really was in that, like, I don't want to say Vine era. Is this him? Yeah. When he, like, started YouTube. Is this about Sneeko drama? No. Bro, he looks so different without, like, a beard. All right. AI! AI. Like, Jesus. My God. AI is scary, though. I want to see what he's going to say, though, because I don't really know that much. Have y'all used, like, chat GPT? I've never used chat GPT. I know what it is. Uh, I've seen people use it, but I've never, I've never fucking, like, used that. I don't know much about, like, hyper-intelligent AI. Uh, real for the fringe bits. You don't know how to comfortably sit, and you can't rest your tongue right. Uh, I don't think the comfortably sit one makes me move how I sit, but resting my tongue does. 
AI technology is advancing at a rapid rate and it's reaching levels only thought possible in science fiction. That experience you just had of your heart sinking from my master class in jump scares is the natural reaction to AI. It's showcased that the flesh is cringe in machines of the future. Pretty much anything humans can do, technology can do better. AI can do better, rather, and that includes entertainment. I have been glued to AI and the entire industry that's bloomed from it for years now. I have been like a moth to a flame following each and every development and new AI product that's come out because it is fascinating and at the same time, a bit startling. Now, I think it's naive for people to write off all- When do you think AI is gonna get like dangerous to where it's like hyper intelligent? I'm not saying it would have its own consciousness, but I'm saying where it's like, Okay, like, if one wire was tweaked, one thing was changed, eh, maybe a robot could kill everybody in the entire planet. If it wanted to. 30 years? I would say, like, 50 years. I think it's progressing very fast, though. And the fact that it's progressing quickly could only make it exponentially progress because the smarter the AI gets, the better it can get at being efficient uh, and making more efficient means of itself. All AI as evil. It will never happen. I don't know about consciousness, right? I'm saying AI. I'm not saying like, oh, there's going to be like some self-aware robot that's like strolling through Earth murdering everybody. But like something near a level of consciousness, kind of like a hyper-intelligent animal that's not a human. When saying we should ban AI outright and never pursue it, I think that is such a dog shit way of looking at the technology. The AI can, cre can create AI. That's what I said. As with every new innovation, there is good and bad that comes with it. It's some certified goofy goober goofball shit to just write off all of the good things AI can do for humanity and focus instead on only the bad things they can do. Uh, I'm not here to get into the nitty gritty of like the pros and cons of AI. I feel like you should be able to immediately recognize some of the incredible things AI can offer, especially in the medical field. But again, that's not what today's topic what is. What can AI do in the medical field? I'm insane for the sub. Maybe like in, in terms of uh, not AI like chat GPT, AI like, like surgeries, like surgical procedures. It passed the doctor's test. Yeah, I'm assuming that. Like di it could help diagnose people. It could help with surgeries. It would be more accurate than a person. Today, I want to show you and talk about a It could cure cancer? You think AI could cure cancer? How would it cure cancer? Real clip on Twitter that's going around that has to deal with AI in the music industry. You might notice that I sound like Kanye West. No, Yeezy didn't record a voiceover for me for this video. I didn't learn how to do impressions. This is AI. So let me come back to my original voice for a second because this is crazy. The caption of this video says that it'll change the music industry forever. And that's 100% accurate. This tech- Yeah, I think it'll change the music industry to make people sound better. But I mean, didn't Auto-Tune already do that? And like most, most singers kind of fucking suck live. Most hip hop uh, things kind of fucking suck dick live. Like just any, any sort of, not like rap, right? Because you're not really singing in most rap. But, like, just just base, like, pop artists. Like, they suck live. Most of them. The ones that don't suck live are usually, like, really famous because they're really good. But there's a lot of people that have, like, one-hit songs or they have a few good albums and they perform live and it's awful. Like, who's an artist that has terrible fucking auto-tune? Like, to the point where it's, like, almost, like, when they're live, it doesn't even sound like them. Uh, Kate Teal in for the sub. I'm insane for the sub. Travis Scott. But yeah, but I feel like his is purposefully, a uh, not AI'd, purposefully auto-tuned like that. So it sounds more like, like, because all his album covers are like futuristic and fucking universal and shit. Yeet. Okay, well, is Yeet auto-tuned or is that just like a massive beat? Mariah Carey. Is Mariah Carey actually a bad singer? Technology will forever change the entire landscape of the music industry. Joji? Nah, Joji's songs are fire, though. I just don't understand. I've never been to a concert. I've never been to a music concert, right? So I just don't even understand personally what the point of going to a concert is. 
not like a big one that you're paying thousands of dollars to go to when I could just like, you know, listen to their song on fucking Spotify for, you know, either free with ads or fucking like what, $5 a fucking month. Like happy for the sub six a month. It's important. You hear that subtitle, but constant ringing in your ear. I don't hear any ringing in my ear. Ariana for the sub. To realize that AI technology, especially when it comes to voice models like this, are still very new. And they're already advancing to a point where they're starting to get pretty goddamn convincing. And right now the main usage is just shit posts like having Joe Biden and Donald Trump playing Overwatch together. And that is fucking hilarious though. It's my favorite videos on TikTok right now. It is the only thing that I don't despise about TikTok right now. The fucking AI Joe Biden Trump Minecraft videos are fucking amazing. I love them. I fucking love them. When they talk about Ice Spice, dude, when they played Uno, there was one where they played Uno and it was the funniest fucking video I've seen in a while. But I watched it like 20 times and then it wasn't funny anymore. Joe Biden AI Uno TikTok. I might be able to find the video. Is this uh, it? Isn't this nice? It's just oh yeah, this is it. This is it, but the thing I fucking hate about it is this shit, right? Get rid of the fucking mobile game on the bottom, right? I don't have the attention span of a peanut. Just, just fucking make it a full screen fucking PNG and I'll watch the picture with the audio, right? I don't need this whack ass fucking building mobile game in the bottom. Same with South Park clips. If you're going to fucking post the South Park clip, I'll just watch the South Park clip. I don't need to play a fucking mobile game with it. Anyways, I think this is the video. Ah. Uh. Isn't this nice? It's just one of those days you got to just get out and give the old wrinkle skin some sun rays. This is so lame, Joe. Hey, I know. I just got the Doom Slayer skin in Fortnite. You guys want to go inside and watch me get a couple dubs? Michelle said we can't come inside until we get some sun. She's making pizza. Oh, I just love Michelle's pizza. Yeah, she makes good pizza. Go fish. Bro, they make George Bush like dumb as fuck in every one of them. Every single one of them. They make George Bush a fucking idiot. It's Uno, George. Oh, right. That means I get to go again, right? No, that's not in the rules. That's how we've always played it at my house. When you lay a reverse card, you get to go again. That's We're actually not facts, though. That's actually facts, though. No, I play with the house rules. I play every house rule. I play double on twos. I play double on fours. I play reverse back to me. I play reverse back to me. I play all those fucking house rules, right? I play, uh, hey, I'll sometimes play zero seven switch. I'll sometimes play zero rotate seven, choose somebody else's fucking cards. That is fun because those that's when the game lasts long as hell, right? When you always maintain the same damn cards you always had or uh, like, yeah, the ones that you started out with, the game ends in like 10 minutes, right? Because, it, like, eventually nobody's going to get plus twos. Because you line up the cards you need to play to win. But when you have 0-7 switch, everybody just has to constantly, uh, like, change how they're playing. That's fun as fuck. What type of rules is where it reverses back to you? When there's two people. Not when there's, not when there's five. That's how he's playing it wrong. But if there's two people, if there's two people left, say you're playing Uno with one person. Reverse back to me. Reverse back to me. Reverse back to me, right? Because it switches back to you. Why the fuck? How are you going to switch to somebody else if there's only one-on-one? -on -one? Well, you could have said that. Well, bro, that's what I'm saying. The rule is valid, but it's only valid sometimes. I'm not playing with house rules, Jack. We're being official. House rules don't mean anything here, fool. My turn then. You Plus bastard. two, you stack that. I know you are. Plus you, you stack that. You bastard. I know you are, but what am I? Here's something that will knock your socks off. Damn. Oh, wait, take this draw four. They stack if I put one what on. What the hell? Facts, that becomes a plus eight. Do y'all play that way? You stack twos and fours. If you got a two, I could stack it. That's four. Now somebody else could stack it. That's six. You could stack three fours. You could stack a four, a four, and a four. Now that's 12. And hey, I'm going to say this. If you don't play that way, I respect it, but the game's boring as fuck if you don't play that way. If you play stack on twos and fours and you play zero seven switch, you play all that other fucking rules, all the house rules, it makes it fun as hell. No, that's just another one of your shitty house rules. Donald's right. That's another house rule. 
I've literally played it like that with everyone I've ever met. The rules are as clear as day. Hell, it's been that way since this game was called two-card butterscotch. Back when Hard Hat Lenny was out on the old train tracks and we'd... Bro, that's where I was dying when he started telling that story because that's what he'll do. That's what he'll do on, on like, in, like, some meetings. He'll just start ranting about some fucking shit that happened 60 years ago. It's like, an, like, a, like a grandpa rant. Play until there was a rock in the shoe, and sure enough comes little Sally Salisbury. Fine. My turn again. All right, now me. Uno, you didn't say Uno. It literally wasn't out of my hands yet. Yes, it was. You didn't say Uno. I saw it clear as Mama Christmas. You set the card down and didn't say it. Draw four, cracker. Do you even know what that, that means? It means buddy. Oh, shit. Here comes Kennedy. Hide the cards. Hey, fellas. Hey, Kennedy. Oh, dude, every, part, every time that's fucked. Every time that's fucked. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey, Kennedy. Uh, here comes Kennedy, and then it's just some Siri voice. Hey, guys. All right. Rykoff for the sub. Ariana for the sub. Shawnee for the 300 bets. Uh, Ryan for the 304 bets. Watch Skeeter Jean married my uh, comes. Uh, yo, dude, if you want to watch. Okay. I like I appreciate the video suggestions. But for people that keep sending bits and saying like watch this, watch that. Send it in the video suggestion tab because I plan out the videos I'm going to watch um, before I go live. Just so I know how many videos we can watch and fit in. Because if I watch another video, number one, I don't know like what the video um is or even if i want to watch it because that's how i go through all the videos like when people send videos in the video suggestion tab tab i watch like one out of every 20 or 30 right or i cue them and then sometimes i don't even watch them so send it in the video suggestion tab and i might watch it but it's so cringe they make him call his wife and tell her what he did please skim the end real quick oh my god you fucking convinced me this is the only time i'm doing this this stream Married man, uh, would this be TOF? Skip to the end where they make him call his wife. Dude, I'm watching like 30 seconds of this. Interview two, law enforcement show up. Dude, this guy is not, ma oh, I thought, it, I thought it said he was 40. Yeah, he's old. Oh, they're talking to his wife. Because you know, I was already here. Well, what were you talking about on the grinder app is, is what I want to know. Well, y'all already have that. What was the, uh, we, we have that. The content of that. Who's this? So this is Chester. Oh, and it's like his 70-year-old fucking wife. How old do you think this guy is? I'm with the uh, Predatorial Investigative Unit. So, uh... Is that a real thing? Or are they just saying that for the fucking bed? Your husband here, how long y'all been married? And Skeeter Jean. I think I've seen his video before. Did we watch another one of his videos on stream? We watched another one of his videos on stream, right? Married. Yes, how long have y'all been married? We have? Yeah, I know we have. I don't think we watched a 40 fucking minute one. This might be two different ones. Like, combined now. Ma'am. 31 years. 31 years. Well, I have some very bad news. Oh Your husband God. came here to meet a 14-year-old boy for sex. And uh, he's also said that he's been doing this for the past two to five years or so. Doing it for the past two to five years. And he's met up with over five people from the Grinder app. Never a minor. He said they're not minors, but this was a 14-year-old. It was a sting operation. He came here. You have to hold on a minute. Hold on. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, dude, I feel bad for the fucking wife. If you're something of this, Neil. He'd be embarrassed. I mean, to, to say the least, it's pretty... Darn embarrassing. Been wrong. All for all. Because even when it wasn't a minor, he was cheating on her on his fucking wife. Like even if they were fucking 35, 40, dude, you're still cheating on your wife. Very explicit. Long ass conversation. Did text messages, and uh, yep. So uh, I'm just trying to let y'all know. And uh, he said he's been doing this grinder. He's been on the grinder. Have you heard of the grinder app? It's a gay dating app. Uh, yes. So he's been on this. Who the hell is that? I thought he was talking to his wife. I skipped too much. Let alone. Oh, was that the end of it? Was that his son? He did. Hello? Yeah, hello? Who? Oh, was she crying? <laughs> Ma'am. See what you did to her? 
This is. Oh. And wrong. That's wrong. Oh, dude, I feel so bad for her. Because that's like you've known somebody for that long and that's just not like you're not even talking to your partner in any way. And just even this this fucking shit is even weirder. But even before then, it's still fucking it's still fucking whack. Fucking cheating on his 31 year old marriage. Don't understand what, what makes a man do this sort of thing, you know. And his son must be like, what, 30? He looks pretty old. I say it a kid late. I mean, help me understand, Neil. Is it a. That's why he Okay. Like maybe yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, I'm sorry. Ma'am. See what you did to her? This is what you did. Hello? Yeah, hello? Who's this? This is uh, her son. Okay, so my name is. Ch Chester, I'm with the Predatorial Investigative Unit. Oh, and his son might be the fucking kid's age. Unit, and um, so y your your dad has been caught in a sting operation. He came here to meet a 14-year-old boy for sex and sent very explicit text messages. My mic audio is low. Is my mic audio low? And, uh, yep. It is so, definitely not low. It's pinging fucking how it normally does. So, uh, I'm just trying to let y'all know. And uh, he said he's been doing this grind. He's been on the grinder. Have you heard of the grinder app? It's a gay dating app. Uh, yes. So he's been on this app for the last two to five years. He said he's met up with over five people. And um... and the craziest part about this this Neil situation is that he's actually married. Okay. He... Oh my God, dude. All right, I'm not watching the fucking rest of this because it's just gonna be fucking whack. But Jesus Christ. Dude, after the chat for the fucking wife. And they have a kid, too. That sucks. All right. Tundra for the 600 biddies. I'm high as fuck, and I'm here enjoying my $30 of free Wendy's and watching your stream. $30 of free Wendy's? How the fuck did you get $30 of fucking free Wendy's? Life is good. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Joseph. No, it's not TOS. Juicy watched it last night. Juicy watched a whole fucking video? That was a 40-minute video, or did he watch a clip? Mr. Furka for the sub. That was a good video, though. But for the future, for people that want to send videos, send them in the video suggestion tab, uh, just so it's easier. Experiencing Because then we're ping pong in between videos. Gamer rage and shit, or making goofy AI-generated tracks. But this technology has huge implications for the whole industry going forward when it comes to music. And it's already advancing very quickly. I made a brief mention of my own AI voice that's been getting used on YouTube pretty often uh, about like three months ago where I, they had me singing Rap God. And I was like, damn, that sounds pretty good, but you can easily tell that it's AI at some points because words get all mumbled and jumbled. It sounds like I'm overdosing on Xanax sometimes. Like, overdosing on Xanax? It's clear that it's not perfect, but it can and most likely will be in a relatively short period of time. So in this example with his yay voice filter, you can tell that something's a bit awry there. It doesn't really sound 100% accurate. It sounds a bit glitchy, like something's wrong. All right, but what is he saying with it's getting more dangerous? All praise be to Lord Jesus Donda, please rest easy. Is it mainly about the music industry? Guys in the entire temple and stuff like that. Like it'd be very easy to just have these AI models say anything to try and get people in trouble yeah, or try and problem. start shit online. Like it could go easily beyond shit posting where it's just like jokes to a point where, hmm, you can really kind of fuck someone with it. And keep in mind, this is the worst that AI will ever be. In just a few years, basically every popular musician will have multiple trained models of them. And also the UI, the front Multiple trained models of them. What the fuck does that mean? Like clones or like multiple trained models of like just their voice and they remix the words to make different songs. Or they're saying like other people could just copy their voice and make a whole new song. Yeah, it's their voice. 
popular musician. We'll have multiple train models of them. And also the UI, the front end of this is all gonna get a lot simpler. Again, he's 100% right. We are currently in the worst stage AI will ever be. It's only going to get better and significantly better. It's already getting huge steps forward every couple of months. It just gets more and more mind-blowing what AI is capable of. You're going to be listening to songs by your favorite artists that are completely indistinguishable. You're not going to know whether it's them or not. And I'm just starting to think of all the good, all the bad that's going to come out of this. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments, so drop those below. Oh, I'll let you know what I think, all right. I'll give you a piece of my mind, and it won't be a comment. It's a whole video. Uh, I think there's not a lot of good that comes dude i always fucking think this is so off topic i always like just look at how he just plugs in like apple earbuds to his mic like he games with apple earbuds not a headset why do so many big streamers not use headsets because it does this that's probably why uh, that's probably why baldness well, i'm already gonna go bald it's from the ai voice models in the music industry in particular i don't see many positives now i know there's people that will probably try and spin an argument that it's great because now you can have deceased artists still releasing new tracks thanks to the ai technology so for example michael jackson already has a few ai voice models that are pretty good so you could release new michael jackson tracks but I would argue that's not a good thing. Like, that to me is kind of fucked up. He's yeah, it ruins music. It ruins the specialness of the the artist and the fucking songs they made in their time rather than someone else jumbling up just random, like, somebody else's voice to make music. Then songs no longer have the meaning they did, right? Dead. He can't consent to having new tracks come out post-mortem here. It just feels so creepy and disgusting like fucking his corpse like a necrophiliac for okay. the uh, <laughs> but he always comes out with the fucking wackiest ass analogies ever you know that's just fucking weird like fucking somebody's corpse like the <laughs> creepy and disgusting like, fucking his corpse like a necrophiliac for the sake of making money off of new tracks Oh, I from thought he was gonna keep going. I thought he was gonna keep making an, the analogy like 30 fucking sentences. His name. It, it just, it doesn't feel right. The, the artist is gone. And the music they made should rest with them. That's the music they poured their heart and soul in. They made that with their own blood, sweat, and tears. And to dig them up with these voice models and have them releasing tracks that they had no part in making is just, I think, wrong. I don't think that's a good thing. To me, I just really feel like that ruins and belittles all of the hard work they put into their career before they died. It just kind of dismantles the whole legacy because then there's new tracks coming out that they didn't make and they might be shit. I, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of that. Let me give you yeah, another. Especially if they're bad, then that that's just like if somebody didn't know, that's like, oh, that's not a Michael Jackson song. Oh, that's not somebody's song. It would just like ruin their rap. All right. Also, I got to post again on TikTok chat. One or two. A one this time. Hmm. Not that one. It's this one. All right, posted. Uh, Tundra for the three inch, but he's already read that. All right. For example, one that pertains very personal to me. Linkin Park. I love Hybrid Theory and I love Meteora. Chester Bennington has passed away, unfortunately. And I would be extremely upset if they started to use AI voice models. Literally no one is saying, Je one, Joe, what are you on? Most people were saying one when it started. And then it swapped. In order to have Chester Bennington deliver vocals on new Linkin Park Dude, it doesn't matter. I do one or two for which one I'm posting on a given day. At the end of the day, both videos are going to get posted. When I say one or two, it's just which comes out today rather than fucking tomorrow. Tracks that start coming out. They have recently released two new tracks, but those are tracks that were actually recorded by Chester himself. So those tracks still have the very human element to it that I can appreciate. 
So if they, you know, five years from now start releasing new Linkin Park tracks with Chester Bennington doing the vocals, I wouldn't like that. I, I really would feel like that spit in the face of all of the incredible work that he had done throughout his career. So I, I'm, I don't see that as a benefit. And that's like the only argument I could see people making for a good thing that can come from the AI voice models in the music industry. Everything else I think is just negatives. You'll have significantly less people entering the industry because they have to compete with all of these mega corporations that are just churning out these ma Okay, I get the point. We're going to move on. We're going to move on to the next video. That was good ass points though. I think most of it was this like based on music more, more so than like the voice issue with what could be like of the future, how the AI would develop in like cloning, how people act and all that stuff. Salty is for the sub, Thunder for the sub. All right, WVID though. Next video. How Mr. Beast uses charity to manipulate his fans. We're definitely not going to watch this whole video, but we'll jump around a bit. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my annual serious video. Mr. Beast has been in the news a lot lately and not necessarily for the best reasons. You see, when someone makes a career out of being a generous, charitable, and selfless person. In this video, we're curing a thousand people's blindness. Yet time- Somebody just said the 30 year age gap is crazy. Bro, we watched that clip like, how long ago? Are they talking about the AI thing or the video got taken down? No way, the video already got taken down. No, it says post being processed. It might not be down yet. I don't know. I'm going to leave it for a minute before I have to re-upload. All right. Time and time again aligns themselves. That with was 15 minutes ago? Yeah, that iPhone delay must be nuts on whoever the fuck watch is watching there. V Mira, unless they were referencing something with like the music for 30 years, but like, holy fuck. That was a while ago. Things that are selfish, egotistical, and callous, it begins to call into question all those previous good deeds. And that's exactly what's been happening with good old Jimmy lately. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of money. But because of all the goodwill that he's built up along the way, it's become very difficult to criticize him without having videos of him giving away millions of dollars shoved down your throat in response. One million meals to people in need. Amidst all the criticism that's been levied against him lately, I feel like the main point has been completely missed. And that's what this video is about. Yes, charity is good. Yes, generosity is good. But there are also tools that can be used in a manipulative way in order to create a public persona that is impervious to criticism and can boost your brand to the very top of the platform that you have always fetishized and obsessed over. So I have your hand read. Well, yeah, the 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 fucking charity videos and all of that stuff doing good deeds is obviously probably going to attract more views. So, I mean, yeah, he is obtaining a lot of growth from it. But I mean, am I going to say that it's wrong that he's giving away money? Uh, it, at face value, no. I understand the point that's being made, but I'm, I'm going to see if he expounds on that. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't really get it. Reaching for it, and they'll like, be like shocked. Like Your TikTok got taken down. Bro, I know. 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 One more time. One more time for the memes. I know. Right? So you don't need to tell me that fucking 5,000 times. I'll repost it right now. If it gets taken down again, it gets taken down again. Uh, then it's just not. Then there's only two posts for today. The TikTok's down. Oh, chat is the TikTok down. Oh, chat is the TikTok down. Oh, the TikTok's down. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't know. It's not like I've been told fucking 5,000 times. I hate TikTok now. Oh, brother, same. In the effect that they do this every day. Every day they take down one of my videos. At least one. At least one for no reason. It's not even taken down. They put it in either post-processing and just never take it out or they put it under review. Here. Yeah. This is how Mr. Beast uses charity to manipulate his fans. Uh, I have a lot of money. So before we get into the videos that have been stirring up controversy lately, I want to take a look back at his early days on YouTube. These were his days of weird pranks and desperate, embarrassing ploys to be seen by as many people as possible. Shoot. At this time, early on in his channel, he was doing everything in his power to get attention on YouTube, and there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Like, posting cringe does not make you a bad person. We have all done it. I have posted so much cringe online. I ain't talking guns when I ask where you dick at. Yo, I think I know him on from TikTok. If that's not cringe, I don't know what is. But it's a theme in Mr. Beast's content that has continued to this day, where he just does anything he can to get views without having a really specific 
talent. That's mean, but what I'm trying Well, I think it's also that's his shtick, right? His shtick is doing the biggest thing of anything, right? Even back when he initially started making videos, his shtick was, I'm going to say Logan Paul the most times anybody has said it. I'm going to be the first person to read the fucking entire dictionary. I'm going to spin a fidget spinner the most amount of times. That, what is his, it's his what? It's his shtick. Do you know what a shtick is? I'm not saying stick. I feel like two inches trying to make a dick joke. I'm not, shtick is not the same thing as stick, right? Shtick is like their thing. It's his thing to do the, the biggest thing of anything, right? Fang for the three inch bets says do a toe reveal. No, the milk for the three inch bets. Read my bre uh, previous bits. It's a poem. I'm not reading an entire poem. The Two-Headed Calf by Laura Gilpin. Tomorrow when the farm boys find this freak of nature, they will wrap his body in newspaper and carry him to the museum. But tonight he is alive and in the north field with his mother. It is a perfect summer evening, the moon rising over the orchard, the wind over the grass, and he stares into the sky. There are twice as many stars as usual. You want me to read the rest of that? If you can't read them, look up the poem. I'm not looking up the rest of the poem. I'm not, because I, is it a long poem or is that, is that, was that the whole poem? Spence for the thousand biddies. Wish me good luck on a football game. Also watch uh, Dr. No Sleep or go on Omegle. Uh, Omegle is COS on Twitch. And I don't know what Dr. No Sleep is. If you have any videos you want me to watch them, then maybe in the video suggestion tab. And good luck on, fo on your football game. What I'm trying to say is like, he's not. It's time for another hit of the pen. Why? Because you notice that I'm not really high anymore. Particularly funny or interesting or insightful. I hate when people say that, you know? Um, he's not creating anything that feels personal or unique to him. Mr. Beast's brand. Well, that doesn't, does he need to do that, chat? His brand is being the this host of whatever is happening, right? It's swapped, right? He used to be the center of it. Now he's not. But I, I mean, isn't like Vanoss the same thing? Like, I'm not trying to shit on Vanoss's channel because it's not a big deal. But Vanoss is more so the person that um, creates the content to be made rather than the main star of said content. He's usually the person that's getting the best films and things like i don't think that matters is really just making videos that will get a lot of views and he's obviously very good at it but mr beast jimmy was the kid growing up that everybody would be like groaning about today the kid that like when they're asked what they want to be when they grow up they don't say astronaut or teacher or doctor they say youtuber tiktoker influencer just social media famous which is a very popular goal but it's also one that everybody groans over because it's like that's not a goal it's not like a right i will also say it's it's like now most people that do social media specifically from tiktok have kind of done it by accident um or at least most of the tiktokers that i've spoken to right like a lot of tiktokers that are now big and they've moved on to youtube or twitch the ones that have like transitioned They've more so just kind of done it by chance and then trans translated it into a career. Like I, I never, I, I would, I always thought it would be cool to be a YouTuber, but I never actively went towards that. I never even started YouTube until I did TikTok, uh, or Twitch, uh, and so I made a few TikToks. I always thought it would be cute, uh, cool to do YouTube, but I, I never really went after it because the likelihood of it happening is so unreal and unpossible, or not impossible. It's more possible with TikTok, but. But standalone being a YouTuber is pretty fucking hard, right? So I was like, oh, this was cool. But I never even tried to do it until I at least had like, what, two, three mil on TikTok. It kind of just happens. Uh, so I will agree with him there. Writer or artist whose work naturally draws in an audience. Fame for the sake of fame on social media is the type of goal that you can see very clearly in all of Jimmy's content. And they try. And I, 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 yeah, yeah, yes and no. But. I would say it, it comes off unnatural. When somebody wants to be a YouTuber really bad and then they try to showcase a personality that's not them, it's just very obvious. Whereas when you actually just fucking try like to be you and then if people like it, people like it, that fits it more. But I would say his personality, yeah, it was awkward and like maybe force in the beginning but now in his videos it's more so just 
hey, I'm Jimmy, the guy that likes doing the biggest and baddest things on YouTube. This is what we're doing today. He's more just so the person that's officiating the content. Dating all the way back to when he first Morgs, saw. yeah. I don't know. Eh, was Morgs forced? Fan kid for the three. Uh, what are your thoughts on Trump? Uh, if you're talking about the recent arrest shit, I barely know anything on that. If you're talking him in general, uh, I voted for Biden. Uh, I did not vote for Trump when I could vote. Um, but, um, I mean, I didn't vote in 2016 when he was president. I'm saying afterwards. But, I mean, if you voted for Trump, whatever. Uh, I have a lot of conservative friends. I'm a social Democrat. I have a lot of people that uh, are conservatives or just plain Democrats, plain Republicans, not hardcore, not uh, like all over the spectrum, right? I don't really give a fuck what you are. Um, so that, the reason I state that is because when you bring up politics, people get really angry really fast. Uh, so yeah, Spence for the 300 bits. Thanks for wishing me uh, good luck. I'll let you know if we win. Okay, can you say hi, hi to my friend Tyler? Hello, Tyler. Also, um, yeah, no, it's like, I, I wish off topic, I wish politics people were more open to speaking rather than like just hating each other immediately. I understand there's some political takes where you might hate somebody personally because it disagrees with you as an individual, but, um, still just the open conversation for most political conversations is non-existent. Three inch for the three inch bits. Uh, you need to upgrade your webcam outline. You want me to have one of those fucking cringy ass webcam outlines? Are you talking about like a border around this chat would y'all fuck with that i would say no i think that's like 2015 youtube shit like i would not want a border for my for my webcam i think it's distracting if anything you know what i mean like when somebody has a a, a fucking bright orange webcam that's fucking whoa 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 pulsating i think it's pretty fucking distracting to the actual fucking video or the actual person that's speaking within the fucking webcam a simple one well then i just don't need one three inch for the 300 bits most people that i i mean not that many twitch streamers have a webcam anymore let's go on the following does xqc have one xqc doesn't have one hassan doesn't have one Drain Rex is full webcam. Yeah, definitely not clicking Amaranth. Uh, Jinxie doesn't have... Well, Jinxie also has like a 720p webcam. Dante doesn't have one. Small Ant doesn't have one. He has a green screen. He has one. Like, not that many people have them. I don't really see the need. Spread out the money as much as you can. Uh, no, hold... Now, act a little surprised. He's Be your own person? I am. By not having a fucking webcam border. Because I don't want a webcam border. Get a green screen? No. You know why? Because I don't want a fucking green screen. I don't want to float in the middle of the fucking screen. I just want to fucking be in the corner. Fuck a webcam border. Fuck a green screen. I don't need no goddamn green screen or fucking webcam border. Why do you follow Amaranth? Bro, okay. Like, I follow Amaranth because she's a big Twitch streamer. I follow a lot of big Twitch streamers. You're acting like I pop into the fucking Amaranth stream and just watch this shit. Motherfuckers have given me subs in the past through her chat. But like, and then they try and say that I subbed to her, but all the subs I've ever had in her chat were gifted. Fucking swear on that. Thunder for the three inch bets. I could be totally wrong, but I think you might have missed my bets. Uh, I'll take, oh, I'll take a hit of a Benjamin with you. I'm not hitting it again. His desire singularly is to get attention on social media. And that ties in with my next point, his obsession with YouTubers. Back before he had that type of fame, Jimmy was kind of known for, like I said earlier, fetishizing and obsessing over those top YouTubers. Like, look at this video. PewDiePie in the last 30 days has gotten 327 million views. If every thousand views, PewDiePie made a dollar and 30 cents like I did, PewDiePie would have made $445,000. And while this is just the type of video that I'm sure Jimmy recognized would get a lot of views, I do find it interesting that it became a bit of a series for him. He obsessed- I think he's saying that Jimmy is a obsessed person in the effect that all Jimmy wants is to be a big YouTuber. But I think he's missing out on the- uh, effect of once you are a big YouTuber, the oomph of being a big YouTuber has transitioned to, okay, this is my work rather than this is a dream. You know what I mean? So I understand how when Jimmy was on the come up, he was like, okay, I, all I want to do is be a big YouTuber. But I think he's clouding the idea that, okay, Jimmy's still in that mindset 
and all the charity he's doing is just to be a big YouTuber. I think that's wrong. I think that, yes, if Jimmy kept that same mindset, he would be like that. But when you're, uh, when you're an aspiring YouTuber and then when you're an actual YouTuber, the view of it changes, right? It's a dream to a job, right? It's still your dream job, but it's a dream to a job. Over famous am I spitting fucking facts right now or am I fucking crazy because that made perfect fucking sense to me right now I'm astonished at how perfect that fucking made sense oh my god or how perfect sense that made that doesn't make sense either fuck now I'm back to being me YouTubers in the way that a Swifty obsesses over Queen Tay Tay. Also in these videos, he's specifically talking about how much money they make. Times that by 12, that's 3.6 million dollars. That is a ton of money for playing video games. And looking at these, it's kind of hard to believe that this guy would become the biggest YouTuber in the world. What's up guys, Beast Toy Reviews here, and uh, today we're reviewing this toy Karambit. Like, do you see what I mean? Like what I was talking about earlier? He is not the draw of these videos. He is not the charismatic personality drawing you to watch these. He wasn't then, and I would argue that to this day, he still isn't. The only- Who cares? That's my point, though. Like, I understand it, but I'm saying I don't think Jimmy is a money, power-hungry person that just wants to be the biggest on YouTube. I think he's doing charity also because he just wants to do charity. Yes, he's benefiting from it, and yes, he also might have a, a secondary motive of, okay, charity gives me growth. But he could still also have the initial motive of, hey, I like doing charity, right? But him being behind the screen, who gives a fuck? The reason his videos perform so well- Wasn't he like 16 back then? Is because of how outlandish the titles and thumbnails are. This and is a good ass YouTuber though. Like the video, subscribe. The fact that he genuinely delivers on them. Which is great, and like you do this- W Film Cooper. Even though I'm disagreeing with some of the takes. You get views. He does this, he gets views. That's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that. That's not the point. I'm getting ahead of myself. These videos where he's breaking down how much money YouTubers make are just like the beginning. Just a sliver on the log of his obsession with YouTubers. A sliver on his log! Damn, this is kind of feeling like a video essay right now. The year was 2019. This is definitely a video essay. Seemingly everyone on the internet was aware of the phenomenon of PewDiePie versus T-Series. <laughs> it's so funny to be talking about this right now. But it was basically, would PewDiePie remain the most subscribed to a YouTuber or or would the massive media conglomerate overtake him? Obviously, PewDiePie was fighting a losing battle, so subscribe to PewDiePie became like an online internet meme. Online internet meme? What am I, fucking 80? Uh, T-Series L, T-Series L, uh, PewDiePie dub, PewDiePie. All right, we're getting into the cringe territory. YouTube, PewDiePie. When PewDiePie asks for nudes, you don't send them T-Series. So he did multiple Okay, that's also getting into the cringe fucking realm. It was on the subject, knowing that Felix's feral fan base of nine-year-olds would give him the attention that he was craving. Mr. Beast! <laughs> hey, we made that happy! Thank you very much, Mr. Beast. He advertised for him at the Super Bowl. You got more Yo, that's nuts to dono fucking like 20 grand to a streamer in one dono. That's actually fucking crazy. They're like, what is the biggest Twitch dono ever made? I think it was from Twitch. But outside of that, I think Twitch gave a million dollars in a dono. But I think it was to a charity stream. Oh, we did it! We did it! He bought billboards for him. <laughs> he donated $10,000 to him. Mr. Beast, God angel, thank you very much. And in doing all of this, PewDiePie actually acknowledged him multiple times, which massively boosted his channel. From the outside, it seemed like everyone saw all of this as oh, just- Oh no, that was definitely a target for a following, no doubt, yeah. Like, I, I, would, I will agree on that, yes. Him choosing PewDiePie is not a random choice. But, yeah. Thank you for the 300 bits. What's your relationship with Max Lore Games? Max Lore Games? Do you mean Max Taylor? Max Lore Games? Is that a fucking channel? Max Taylor? Are you saying Max Taylor? Thunder for the 300 bits. Max Lore? If you mean Max Taylor, I know Max Taylor lifts. I know Max Taylor. A smaller YouTuber trying to support his- Yes, Max Taylor. Okay. I just know him. I've never hung out with him. He's chill. Idol for, like, the meme. Even if it cost him money, he was being generous for the Yo, are y'all fucking with this video, by the way? I, I, like, I, I don't know if people are, like, want me to watch the 18-minute video. And but that's now, exactly what I'm right. trying to okay. show in this video. His monetary- we'll skip around. I'm going to give a random homeless guy $10,000 today. When he uploaded his first video like this, giving a random homeless man $10,000, it became clear just how powerful and relatively easy this type of content was. I mean, just to give him a little bit more idea of how you live and stuff. Do you, do you have to 
The sponsor for this video allowed him to go to this random person and give them $10,000. And while yes, on the surface, that is a good deed, but I would not be the first person to criticize the superficial nature of kindness content. I think it's time to have a serious talk about performative charity. Let's get one thing straight. Strangers do I not follow the scumbag want to be in your TikTok video. Some people do not want to be filmed at a low point in their life. They want to make sure it's someone helpless and thankful and someone to cry for them. It is just yeah, I mean, I will say I don't film I don't film the charity outside of charity streams. I'm not filming like when I donate money. Like there's been times where I've shouted out like, hey, I've donated to this, but that's usually when I'm promoing the cause. Like I've donated like like probably 25k or so to charities and just not said anything outside of like me referencing it on stream but i mean he's doing that because he has to get money in return to be able to do the charities you know what i mean like i'm just donating a, a part of my salary that i get from streaming but he's donating his income to the effect that for him to be able to keep donating that amount of money, he has to keep making those big videos. Generous, obviously. No one is saying that giving money to charity is bad. But when filmed and put online, it's very clear that the primary goal is to make yourself look like the type of person who would give away $10,000 to somebody in need. Because that's literally what he's doing in that video. So he is that person. But not enough consumers of this type of content are cognizant of the twofold nature of it. A God's blessing, I guess. Man. I do think there's a twofold nature of it, but I think his primary motive could be doing good. That's no one would ever know. Right. Sure that he's aware of his deficiencies in the charisma department, which is why he's assembled a cast of very charismatic side characters to populate that was a w all. W skip because that was a perfect fucking transition. All of his videos. They are the ones that are keeping people engaged throughout these massive videos that he orchestrates, but they're the ones keeping viewers engaged. Yeah, because Jimmy's pretty awkward. Uh, I met Jimmy. Right. He's a nice guy, but I mean, you can tell he's more kind of introverted by nature. Right. Like it's not. It's not outlandish for him to pick extroverts to represent his content when he himself is uh, like an introvert, right? He could still have the dream of being a YouTuber. This is how he could accomplish it, by using extroverts rather than becoming more extroverted, even though he probably has because he has to fucking deal with being the biggest YouTuber ever the disney of youtube and that's fine but disney the corporation is not the good Does he have a problem with energy i think he has crohn's disease right uh, that we see in their movies and mr beast is not the flawless savior that we see in his videos tell them like you're okay with this and i'm sure he's a good guy like genuine okay see but that's like a clip to make him seem bad but when jimmy tells someone to say something for a video it's usually because no one knows how to be on camera. And I'm not just trying to fucking be a Jimmy Dick rider here, right? Like, I'm seeing some of the points that he's making. I'm agreeing there is a twofold nature to it. But it's also like, when you think about it, have any of y'all ever been on camera that would be broadcasted to millions of people? Like, imagine being in a Mr. Beast video and what you say, if it's good enough, would be on a YouTube video that would be in front of fucking, I don't know, 90 million people. Well, no, for the most part, the people that are saying yes, I'm kind of curious as to where, like, where you have, because that is actually pretty cool. But what I'm saying is, is most people don't know what to do, right? Because most people ha don't know what to do on camera in general, let alone have the pressure of, hey, this might be broadcasted to 90 million fucking people. So some of the time, they'll either refilm things for Mr. Beast videos if, like, they didn't get the shot right or something, so then it comes off a little bit more fabricated, even though it's not because the natural reaction is there. Or that person might still feel some sort of way in a good way towards the video, but they don't know what to fucking say, right? That, like, because a lot of people don't know how to be on camera. Genuinely, I'm sure that he is a very good guy, but this video is literally about the reasons why many people online are turned off by his content and feel like there's something- I get that. I do, but I also think, like, they're not seeing another part of it. It's most people don't see the, the second fold, but then there's also a third fold. I own a burger joint. So when I first started it, this is when COVID was at its height. So we started a virtual restaurant. A lot of restaurants were laying people off. And Beast Burger, originally why we got into it, is it was like a way for restaurants to make extra money. Yeah. So if you're a mom and pop, and you know that lockdowns you can't even serve people in your fucking restaurant your revenue just cut cut in half you could just start serving people. joe you're the man my boy i really like how honest you are dad 
I mean, I know, like, some of y'all said you were bored from this, and I can see some people are leaving the stream, but I don't give a fuck because I think this video is interesting, and I'm going to watch it. When we're done, we'll move on to other shit. Yeah, but, like, um, I like this video, so I want to watch the rest of it, but I will skip around. Cheeseburger. Basically, anyone can sign up, go through a training process, get the ingredients shipped to their house, and they can become an official Beast Burger restaurant. And because they're only available through food delivery apps, there doesn't need to be a Beast Burger brick and mortar location set up. By the way, if you want to find out more about the insane world of ghost kitchens, check out Eddie Burbeck's video. He did a really deep dive yeah, into it. Yeah, a lot them. of people have been recommending that video for me because ghost kitchens are kind of crazy. Like, have y'all ever gone on DoorDash or some shit and a place shows up you've never fucking heard of? That's a ghost kitchen. Because you've never passed it. It's just some, like, falsified random building where people make food and have a brand behind it. But they don't actually have a building. There was one day I went on DoorDash. And I was, like, um, I was in, uh, not Philly. I was near Philly uh, at, at Rowan uh, for my one of my boys' um, parties. And we were on DoorDash. And I've never been there before. But I know the brands that are around. Uh, and so I'm looking at it and I see this one pizza place, never fuck. It's like a, it has pizzas, it has burgers, it has everything, ice cream, whatever you can think of. I'm like, this place seems fucking amazing. Come to find out it's just a ghost kitchen. And that's why they have everything and everything or anything and everything is because it's a ghost kitchen. And it's just really the interesting. The Cookie Mafia. Yeah, that was there too. How weird and messed up they are. Anyways, Mr. Beast frames this endeavor as some feel good story about providing for struggling family owned restaurants. Because it was like a way for restaurants to make extra money. Because with Mr. Beast, it always has to have this feel good element where he's this generous, giving God so that he can keep his fans worshiping him and giving him the attention he craves. But really. How does that have to do with the ghost kitchen, though? Over 300 million views. Now, to have that on a video where Nicki Minaj isn't showing cheek, that's crazy. But that video boosted him to somehow even greater heights. Like, that was a massive investment. Huge set pieces. So much time, so much effort, so much behind-the-scenes work that went into that. And Yo, people don't realize that, like, half of his videos, bro, won't even get posted. Uh, the video I was in probably won't get posted. You know, like, they're, they're, like, they're spending money on that to make the video. Even if they're not, like, doing, like, a massive production-based thing like the Squid Games, it's still, like, a fuckload of money to make a video happen, right? F in the chat for the burger video, by the way. Mr. Beast, fucking post the video, man. It was a good video. I know it was a good video, right? I actually don't know if it was a good video because it was, like, fucking 15 hours of footage. Hey, if you don't think it was a good video, Jimmy, you didn't think it was a good video. Please invite me to be on another video. Anyways, um... No, we're going to get back into this. But no, it, yeah, if the video doesn't get posted, it doesn't get posted. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, he spent the money on that video. He might never fucking post it. But he still had to expenditure all the costs for it. Because he executed it so well. Be like Ludwig, be like Ludwig ask him to post it. I don't think I have the um, power Ludwig does. Well, he became even more... To get Jimmy to agree to that well-known and respected worldwide for executing absurd and just insane, impossible videos. Hey, uh, have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Mr. Beast? But ironically, at the same time of this massive success, his public perception began to be a little bit worse. Ask Ludwig to ask Jimmy. Now that's fucking smart thinking. Now that's smart thinking. I asked Ludwig to ask Jimmy for me to post it. People started to be more and more skeptical of old Jimmy. While his I go to the dean, then the president, right? And grew massively. People no, started to see that. him as an absolute capitalist. Someone focused only on growth and using people who were in desperate situations to fuel his massive videos. Now, again, I would say all of them are in desperate situations. Like some of them are just like average income, maybe even above average income that he just invited. People who lack critical thinking skills are about to respond to everything I say with, but he gives away million dollars. When he no, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna respond with that. Like, I understand what he's saying. If you given away million dollars, and that is because you lack critical thinking and haven't been listening to what I've been saying. He's doing good deeds for desperate people while also shoving a camera in their face so that his millions of viewers can watch as they bawl their eyes out and thank him as if he is the second coming of Jesus. Is she okay? We're gonna go fix more people's eyesight. So she's squeezing hard. Jimmy then gets to be on camera, hug them, smile, say, ah, shucks, and then be as humble as he possibly can, deflecting all of the praise. Act 
adapting as humbly as he possibly can in his video that he is then sharing to hundreds of millions of people so that they can see just how little he cares about being perceived as a good guy. Yeah, he grilling him now. Like, I, yeah, I get your point, but it's like, fuck, bro. Like, I mean, he's still, like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to revert back to it because it's, yeah, I understand that he's not just giving them the money. Like, he is filming them. He is making some sort of profit as well. But, I mean, yeah, there is that negative. But also, if he didn't do it, he wouldn't have ever helped the people that he did. You know what I mean? Even though there might be some sort of, like, a self-motivation to do it rather than just, like, a selfless motivation... I think it's a mixture plus the fact that he's still giving away that money. Guy. And in doing this, making video after video where he uses his- the people are agreeing to be filmed. You know what I mean? It's not just like, hey, like, I mean, maybe his earlier videos, he was just giving him 10K and being like, all right, I'm going to fucking film you. But this one, he's probably like, are you okay with being filmed? Because that is one of the requirements for this. Face next to they suffering. Could deny it people in the thumbnails every good deed that he does has to have mr beast branding all over it he has people crying their eyes out to him framing himself as a savior as he then acts humbly okay, acting acting like he's like a savior like jesus though is kind of like outlandish so i will agree with him like i don't think he even should be saying that but there are people that do think he's like jesus all right i'm done with that video that was a good ass video though all right we're gonna go next one um Fuck, dude. We're going to have to move this one to Sunday. We're going to move this one to Sunday. We're going to watch 0 to 100 years. Because I do got to skedaddle in about yay 10 minutes. Gay for the sub. Ginger for the sub. Public for the one. Three. Bro, a kid can learn to talk at 2? When did y'all learn to speak? I think I learned to speak at 2. I don't know. When do you learn how to speak? Uh, I know your first memory is at like four or five. You ain't learned how to speak at one. Get the fuck out of here. Before I was one. All right. All right. Here's that dickhead in the chat. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fucking child prodigy. I knew how to talk when I was eight months old. Get the fuck out of here. No, you didn't. You still, you still shit your fucking pants every goddamn day of the week. You were still fucking sitting there half schlumped. Nothing made fucking sense. You didn't learn how to speak. Your first word was probably when you were like uh, maybe one and a half. When do babies say their first word? At 12 months. I was wrong. 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 I'll admit it. Fuck. God damn it. That was a mess. That was a hard mess by the Bart man. <sighs> One. Two. Yeah, but he ain't learned how to say his first word. See, like, that's why I'm thinking it's cap. Like, when you're one, bro, look, he's drooling all over himself. A one-year-old ain't understand anything, okay? They, uh, like, they, first word, mama, 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 some shit like that, okay? I said a cuss word at eight months. Yeah, of course you did. Three, four, five, six. Oh, God, they got the snot all over their nose. That's one. You know, oh my God, when they're a fucking kid. Oh God, and they're like, they got snot all over their nose, bro. They get, oh God damn it. They don't even wipe it. They don't notice it's there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's how you know, you know, a guy got into the self conscious badass era. When they when they tilt the chin up, yeah, right right when they become a teenager, thirteen, thirteen, <laughs> trying to act badass. Fourteen fourteen looks like Joe. That guy does not look like me. Fuck you. That's not he does not look like me. Maybe like a young young me. Maybe when I was fourteen, and I probably I think I looked older than him when I was fourteen. I don't even remember what the fuck I looked like when I was 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. That's my age! Ooh, ooh, ooh. 21, 21, 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. 26. Well, you think people are going to start looking old? I'm going to guess 36. 36? I'm going to start guessing you got, like, you're going to start developing, 
like an eyebrow or not an eyebrow, like like the eye wrinkle, like maybe one, and then it'll just start getting old. Twenty eight, not twenty eight. I would say all of your twenties, you would still look young. I would say your late thirties, you're gonna start looking older. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Thirty. Thirty one. Yeah, I feel like it's a jump, bro. Like twenty nine. All right. Thirty. Like she looked thirty. Right, she looked 30. She don't look I'm not dissing her too, right? Like I'm not I'm not dissing anything about it. I'm saying like she looked 30. She don't look like 22. She looked 30. But she doesn't look old. I don't know what it is. Why does she look 30? 31. 32. See, but she looks like she could be like 27. 30. Maybe it's the makeup. I don't know. 32. 33. 34. 35? 36. 37. Yeah, he looked 50. Ooh. 35? 36. That's about to be me. Ooh, that's about to be me when I'm fucking 36. Damn, that was the exact number I said. Bro, looks 50. Yeah, he could be... He could have a fucking 20-year-old kid. Like, easily. 37. 38. 39. 40. 41. Yeah, they all about to look old. All right. Yeah, this is where motherfuckers look old. Yeah, let's run it up. Yeah, run it up. Everybody look old as shit. 42. 43. Yeah, you look old. 44. Old. 45. Old. 46. Old. 47. Old. 48. Yeah. Oh, God damn. See, that's about to be my forehead. That, sh that shit's already starting right now. You see that? You see that one line that's starting? It's because I go like this all the fucking time. 49. 50. 52. 53. 54. 55. All right, when are people going to start looking bad? When are people going to start looking bad? 66. That's when, that, after 65, once you can start getting that fucking social security checks, that's when you're going to start looking old as shit. Maybe 70. Maybe because you could have a 60-year-old that's looking like pretty young. Not young, but like not decrepit. I'm going to guess 66. 56. 57. Yeah, 58. He old. 59. 60. 61. Uh, 62. 63. 64. Damn. 65. 66. Yeah. 67. Yeah, people get old. 68. Yeah, old. 69. Yeah. 70. 71. 72. Yeah, he a good looking. He a good looking 71 year old. He ain't got like no face wrinkles for 71. 72. That's what I'm expecting. 73. Yeah. 74. Yeah, you know they're old as fuck when it takes them forever to say their age too. 70. 7, 74. Seven, 74. Not like 74, right? How old are you? 21, right? Quick as fuck. How, how old are you, Joe? 21. How old are you? 87. 80, 87. They got to think about it, right? They got to remember it. They got to do the math in their head. All right, when was I born? 1966. All right, they got to start doing the fucking math. 75. 76. 77. 77 and a half. 78. 77. Buddy, buddy had to add that half. 79. 80. 80. Right, I'm dead by this point, right? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm saying that right now. I'm dead. I'm not making it. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Where, where are we capping at? I'm going to be like right here. Eh, maybe right here, right? Eight. 81 look good. Yeah, he looked good for 81. Yeah, bro, I don't think I'm living a fucking 87, 88. Fuck. 80? Yeah, that's old. Oh, 80. Ugh. 81. Yeah, he looks 65. He could tell me he's 65 and I would, I would believe him. 82. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for when they look like a raisin. You know what I mean? When they start looking like... Like, like you know those dogs... You know those dogs with all that extra skin? What are those dogs called? The ones that are like, you like pull their face back and then they look normal. What are those dogs? Pugs? It ain't a pug. It's one of those ones, Sharpay? Yeah, that's old people. 
old people be looking like the like these motherfuckers. Like fucking wrinkly as shit. Hold up. Yeah, where are you at? Here are you at. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is an old person. When you when that's how you know they're fucking decrepit. When you think you could like grab their skin and pull it back, and then they would like they would like rewind time by like twenty years. Like that's a fucking old person. Jesus Christ. But yeah, that's an old motherfucker. 83. 84. Yeah, and when they start, when they say it in a question format, too. 83? 82. 83. Yeah, he ain't now. He ain't now if he's 83. He thinks he's 83. Donkey for the sub. Real for the three inch bets. How old is Zuzi? Like 25? 26, maybe? Ryan for the three inch bets. Loki, I hate, I think he's 25. Loki, I hate turning older because it makes my gym maxes seem like less impressive. Facts. I had the same gym max for the last three years for me. 85. 86. He looks good for 86. Hey, he looks like a good 86 year old. He looks like he smokes tobacco out of a pipe. I'm going to say that though. He looks like he got one of those fucking long ones that you lighten like this. Like a fucking bong, but it's a pipe. 80 step. 88. 89. 90. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's 90. 91. I, I, I ain't making fun of old people either, right? Because I'm gonna be old one day, but like, well, I mean, if I live that long. But like, you know, fuck, dude. Jesus, that's old. I ain't thinking I'm living to 91. 92. Hey, I'll be happy if I live to 91, though. Yeah, she looks like a sweet old grandma. 92. She got those strawberry candies in her fucking purse. She got a great grandchild, too. She got great, great grandchildren. She fucking, she got that fucking, those little strawberry candies, those off brand bitches that you get like fucking three pounds of them for like five bucks. 93. 94. Oh. 95. 96. 97. Jesus. 98. 99. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! In the ground, old. I'm not trying to be a dick, but damn. Whoa! It's mostly women? Yeah, because yeah, cause women live longer than men. 100. All right, let's go to 110. Run it up to 110. Run it up to 110. I know there's a few motherfuckers on the planet that live to like 120. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Fuck. Hundred oh zero to hundred boys only. Yeah, motherfuckers probably complain. Yeah, where's all the old men? Let's go to all the old men here. Jesus. Yeah, he looks like he would eat my eat my liver. Yeah, he looked like Kermit. Oh my god, was that mean? Was that mean? Fuck dude. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm not, was that mean i'm not yo fuck dude it's just old people bro all old people just like it, it's just like after you turn 80 bro you don't look human yeah like you don't look human anymore like you just look you look whack bro you start like it just gets rankly dude none of them are american too anybody peep that anybody peep that Anybody, anybody peep that? Maybe because Americans die young as fuck? 93. 94. 94. 96. 97. 98. 100. Wow! Yo, he looked like Albert. Like Albert Einstein if he shaved his head. Wow. That is old. 100 years, bro. That'd be like me living... I was born in 2002. That'd be me living to 2,102. No fucking shot. I would live to 2,102, bitch. No fucking chance. No. It was 0 to 100 in the U.S. That's why it was in the U.S.A. 0 to 100 in the U.S. 0 to 100 girls only. 0 to 100 That's French. They have 0 to 100 all these different countries. But they got like 0 to 110. Let me look up a video of the oldest person. Oldest person in the world. I want to see an old motherfucker. 
Wow. Lucille Randon was born in 1904. Whoa. She was alive in 2022. She's still living? Let's give it a goog. Bro was born... Bro, what, she was born before World War I. She died. Fuck. She died January 17th of this year. <sighs> well, I mean, she was the oldest person. Hold on. Let me look up oldest person right now. Oldest person living today. Maria Bareñas of Spain is 116 and 26 days. Oldest living man is Juan Vicente Perez of Venezuela, who's 113. Bro, imagine being 100 years old, right? You thought you were going to die 20 years ago, right? 100, 100 years old. You were like, I'm going to be dead by 80, right? And then you live to 100 and fucking 18. Then you live to a, you live another 18 fucking years. You live from zero all the way through high school again. Fuck. Every day is probably like a fucking blur, though. Jesus Christ. All right. Oldest woman ever. She became a nun at 42 during the World War, or during World War II. Oh, she got coronavirus in 2021 and lived? That is nuts that somebody that, that was 117 at the time li lived through COVID. There's people that were like 60 that died of COVID. Two world wars, two global pandemics. What other pandemic did she live through? What other pandemic was there? It was the was it polio? Polio, right? Spanish flu. She's blind and has lived in retirement for the last 12 years. Little naughty things. Granny, what you doing, bro? What granny doing? Wow. And then she died. But she died like a year after this video came out. That is fucking nuts. All right. We're going to call it there. W stream now. That was a long ass stream. Almost four hour stream. Sam for the three inch biddies. Been on hiatus. I'm glad to catch uh, a live. Love what you do. Keep on doing it. Thank you. All right. We're going to call it there, Chad. That was a W fucking stream. Uh, we are going to raid now. Tomorrow, I will be live at 2 p.m. EST for Contraband Police. Sunday, I'll be live at 2 p.m. for Reactions. Exclamation point Discord if you guys want to join the Discord and have videos from you react to. Mods, could you spam the Discord link? Uh, I have a video suggestion tab and a game suggestion tab. Videos, uh, video suggestion for React Days, game suggestion for Game Days. If you have any games you want me to play that you think would be good stream games, send them or videos to react to for the video suggestion tab. For vids, just make sure it's something that I can talk about rather than just, like, some random video I can't really commentate on. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow, 2 p.m. EST, Contraband Police. Sunday, 2 p.m., Reacts. Monday, we're going to be doing probably Rocket League and Fall Guys, maybe some other games with chat, a bunch of tournaments with chat and shit, because uh, we have to wait for Last of Us for them to fix the crash issue. Laven for the 3 inch bits, you should do another YouTube of your life. What do you mean, of my life? Anyways... Tuesday, I'll be live, actually, as well, doing a poker sponsor stream from 3 to 6. Uh, I think you have to be 18 or 21 to enter, depending on what state or country you're from. But um, who do you guys want to raid? Mr. Chan Chan? You guys really want to raid Mr. Chan Chan again? I'll raid him one more time. I'll raid him two days in a row because his reaction was fucking hilarious. Anyways, um, 
Yeah, I'll be live Tuesday as well for the poker stream. Uh, you guys will be... There will be two giveaways each poker stream. It'll be three Tuesdays in a row. There will be like two $500 uh, giveaways in the pre-stream. And then I just have to hide my cards. I don't have to do stream delay anymore. But I have to hide my cards during the tournament because you guys are playing against me and JoJo. And if you knock us out, you get like a grand. Uh, I think there's three knockouts per stream. So it's a bunch of money to be given out. Uh, which will be fun because it has like a free entry. Uh, I'll do like an educated warning about gambling too, but it's poker, not like blackjack slots or any of that shit. But, uh, so it's like sport gambling, but still. Anyways, Wednesday, I'll be doing a horror game with Zussi, and then next Thursday, we'll probably do Fortnite and Val, and then Friday, I'll be React. But yeah, hope you all had fun watching the stream. We're going to raid now. I'll be posting on YouTube right after I end this stream, if you guys want to watch that as well. I'll catch you all tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. Thank you for everybody that watched. I hope to catch you all in future streams. We're going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.